Thank you. You are. You, you are. Technically, yeah. But, hi, people. Hi, YouTube. Hi, other places. And, hello. Tonight is the adventure of Gorgo with friends, and I am not going to attempt to guess the number because Danny didn't look beforehand, and Danny can't remember. <laughs> but I know we're, I know we're somewhere in the teens. We're in there somewhere. Where? Fuck knows. Hi, Tordal. But um, I won't linger too long on this, just to remind people that you know the shirts you guys made me get with subs. The merch store is in fully live now with all of the shit so there you go but ash if you would like to take over i'm sure everyone here would be excited to hear what you have in store for us well where we last left off the party had been visited by some interesting friends that gorgor had made previously who were quite oh, yeah. invested in the powerful orc caster that had been traveling the land solving problems Mm -hmm. And they were good, reasonable people who just wanted to congratulate Gorgor on a job well done. And everyone in the party is evil and suspicious for no valid reasons. Well, That's I mean, they, 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 they just... seemed a bit weird, and they seemed a bit Given the fact aggressive. that they were sort of, you know, ordering for an arrest. Well, yeah, they wanted to take me away, but that's because they're just silly, and they, they, like, they think we all look the same, but, like, I don't know. It's a mistake people make all the time. Like, there's uh, there's been a few times that people think I've done this and I've done that when, well, really, it was just Dave next door. It wasn't me. <laughs> no, it was Dave, Dave, not you, Dave. Oh, uh, yeah, it did, 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 was Bob. Dave. Oh, it was Bob. It was, it was, it was no, that, no, that's first. what it was. It was Bob, Bob. Bob, Bob. That was it. That was Bob, it. Bob, Bob. <laughs> it wasn't Gorgo. It was Bob, Bob. I forgot about Bob Bob. <laughs> uh, we're going to Ash, carry on, sorry. And you guys had just uh, rescued a friend who I am sure some of you were hoping was no longer alive so that you could collect their shoes because you'd like loot. But unfortunately, they were alive and they still have their boots about them. Oh well. He was hoping he was dead for loot. No one, apparently, but apparently all of us were. I'm no sure one said was. it. I think she's just trying to. I think she's just saying uh, we all fought it. <laughs> I'm sure someone was like, oh man, those boots are magical. I can't wait to find his corpse and take his boots. I think you're Sounds fair, to be honest. Yeah. I think you're just projecting, but. What? No. I completely forgot that this encounter had happened, so... <laughs> I'd say, I don't know, well, I mean, Lovie would like to forget it, because Lovie was hiding in the plant the entire time. She perfected Stealth Bush. Oh, yeah. Stealth Bush! Stealth Bush is, like, the best thing in the world. It very well is. You're completely right, Gorgo. Why can't... Why can't we, need to, we need to use our druid magics, and we need to get bushes growing, and then we can sell them to people. Like, we could hide, like, entire, like, armies with bushes. So, what you're suggesting is we make a, like, a the center. center. <laughs> I commit to say in, like, a D&D &D way. <laughs> yes, we need, a, we need to make a garden center <laughs> full of bushes. Well, yeah, we can call it, um, like, B&Q or something. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking. Oh no, it could be. Uh, it could be. Gorgor's one stop no, it, shop. it can be G and L for um, Gorgor and Lovey. It can be like G and L, like us. Oh, I mean, it's a potentiality. Well, think of how useful it would be that if you're being chased by someone, and you, you just get a bush, and and you're not being chased no more, because they can't see you because you're a bush. Not completely. I think that this is something we should probably look into. Yeah. We'll go on then. But shall we um like get the two cup friend or whatever his name was, I forgot. 
been yeah. like four um, weeks. It's been like four weeks and Danny's forgotten. So um, Gorgor has forgotten more than that. I believe, don't we need to get there? We were building a sledge to get the head of this thing back as well. Oh, yeah. Well, I'd forgotten about all of that because it's been far too long. And, and if you think Gorgor's got bad memory, well, you should see the person in the driving seat with Gorgor. Gorgor, oh. it's been all of four minutes. <laughs> I completely <laughs> forgot. So, yeah, I, I remember we killed this because we were coming to save the patron, but, like, Danny's forgotten, like, yeah. the, the head and everything. Um, so they were. I was just thinking with them hunting Gorgor, they're, they're looking for an orc, orc mage, an orc mage or wizard or, or sorcerer, mm-hmm. or someone with magical powers. Yes, why didn't they go for Lovey? I'm just confused. Was he just, <laughs> just because, because Lovey was hidden? Oh, so you they Lovie. might have gone for Lovey if. No, I think also, Gorgor, Gorgor's the man. one who announced himself. Yeah. Let's let them believe whatever they want to believe. If they want to believe it's a male orc mage whose wizardy spells have caused this problem. They, ne- they never said male, they just said powerful orc mage. No, they did say. They said man quite a few times. Because um, I remember. I don't remember. I don't really? Why, why, why you remember that they didn't? I, they I just said powerful orc mage. You might have you might have heard differently through the, the the leaves and all that, but let's just get the head back home and then we can uh, figure out the next step. Anyway, I volunteered my horse, didn't I? So yes, you did. Have we have we at this point got the head? Yeah, I think we sorted all that we shit had, out. We had removed the head and we built the sled for to go underneath. Ash, can we hit like the get the fuck going now button and just. <laughs> Yes. No. I just knew that there was some weight behind whatever conversation was going on with Luffy and didn't want to interrupt it until it had uh... mm-hmm. I don't know why everybody's so suspicious of me. I'm not. I wonder why. No, well, nobody was suspicious. And then you act and then you wondered why everyone mm-hmm. was suspicious. Eight, six, Which seven, made people suspicious. <laughs> uh, whoa, 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 whoa. The context here is the words that you're saying is you'll keep on putting on a load of thing about me potentially being this thing and then saying, oh, we're not saying you're suspicious, you're saying you're suspicious. No. Own up to it. If you're going to call me out, call me out. But I think we should probably head back to the town and get on with doing our actual jobs. Maybe? If that's okay with everybody? Yeah, I mean... Like, yeah, that's yes. what we were doing. I'm trying to, but cool. you keep being suspicious, yeah. suspicious and... Let's go! Adventure! <laughs> Adventure yes, awaits to infinity and beyond. Let's go before Gabriel gets killed by Lovey. <laughs> Alright, so you guys threw the mix of spare wood around and yep. your own wits and tools. Mm-hmm. Cobble together some sort of cart esque sled to drag the rest of the body back to town. Uh, over the woods and through the mountains to grandmother's town you go over the hills and far away huh. something like that yeah I, I I thought you were going for the song that song then the over the hills and far away and, and then when you change it I'm like wait is this a different song that I don't know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> either way we, we, we drag yes Gorgor will um, help the horse if need be if because I'd imagine, despite it still being a horse, this is probably heavy as shit. Yes, very, very. So Gorgor will try and lend a hand where he can, just like creating some slack for the horse, so basically like brunting the weight for a little bit at a time. Do you know what I mean? To give him a break. All right. Everyone else, what are you doing on this walk? It is a bit of a long walk, especially going a little bit slower with dragging this thing behind you. I'll keep, an eye. I'd say, I'll keep an eye out, make sure we don't end up drawing the attention of something that wants the, uh, the leftover carcass of this thing. Mm. So Simpinton's mentally compositing like an angry Karen letter to the magical uh, wizard hunting people. <laughs> Alright. 
All right, sounds good, sounds good. Uh, roll me perception to keep you guys going. Roll me someone's survival to just see how the trip itself is going pacing-wise, because you guys are going a bit over land, over, you know, hill, over dale or whatever. I won't help, because I'm going to assume Gorgo's pretty preoccupied in helping the horse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one's got a good eye out at the very least. Keeps you uh, aware of any like potential dangers, anything that might be along the way. Mm -hmm. Make sure you guys stay at the very least out of the way of anything that might be dangerously traveling around. Lovey, how you doing? Lovey? Yeah. Oh, there we go. How's she uh, doing emotionally? How's she uh, processing? Come back later. All right, sounds good. Um, we'll do. <laughs> no, it's just more so she's just kind of like a little, like it's all going around in her head, if that makes sense. So she's constantly thinking about like, well, what could this mean if they're after that? Like, I didn't do two villages. It was only one village, and that's because they were trying to kill me. Like, you know it's what just I mean? the one it's village, just actually. <laughs> <laughs> no luck catching them arsonists, then. It's just the one arsonist, actually. <laughs> if you ask me, still for the greater good. <laughs> Fuck you, girl. Oh. You know what I mean? It literally happened once at... Uh, we'll talk about it in character when it comes up. I think before that point, meh. I don't know anything about no flyers. Well, plus as well, uh, probably one bit of relief for you is, rather than looking at you, they fully believe it's Gorgor anyway. Whether they're right or wrong, and they they at least believe it's me. Uh, yeah, I am pretty certain. and I, I might be completely wrong, and I might be misremembering, because it has been a month, <laughs> but I, I did keep on saying, like, oh, this male, you know, this specifically, I think it was that it wasn't me so that might be it um but yeah no worries We're good thank you dm for checking in <laughs> yeah Being emotionally supportive so you guys slowly make your way back to town uh you are going to have to rest at some leg of the journey just given the reduced speed along with having already traveled a bit this morning as is you guys do still have plenty of daylight at the moment. Just more... Yeah. It is going to be a bit of a long trip. That should be fine. Well, this is why I'm helping the, uh, the horse, because it's very heavy. It's a long way to go. And, and the poor thing's going to get, like, a little tired, so... Yeah, I'm still just, like, as long as I can and as long as we're walking, I will continue to help the horse. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Uh, do you guys just end up making camp? Are you guys going to try and push through the night? Are you just going to make camp on just the side of wherever? Are you guys going to keep an eye out for somewhere to rest? Uh, what, what, do, pe what do people think? Do we, like, Thanks. just just stop where we are, or do we, like, go off for a little bit and hide? I mean, I could use my magic and make, like, stealth bushes around us. I think was trying to find somewhere a little bit out of the way might be helpful. Okay. Yeah. So All let's right. try and yeah. Find somewhere to Whoever feels so inclined, feel free to roll me uh, nature or survival. Uh, I, I will, I will, I will help, and I will, I will roll a survival. Yes, that's not with advantage. How can Dave would like to have a look around too? Yeah, yeah. Eight. He's a very good survival person. Eight. <laughs> they definitely can't know a negative. Uh, you both definitely continue to survive for the moment. Yes. yes. Does that be interesting? If I get zero, do I actually die? <laughs> do you want to find out? 
Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Alright, roll me a disadvantage. Oh. Oh, no, rolling well. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, you guess you just won't find out today, will you? No. One day we'll find out and it'll be glorious. Alright, so well, you guys do find a little bit, like, it's a little bit more secluded, like, the trees are a little denser and you feel it'll block a little bit more of you from cover. I just can't wait for the day for the cloaks to blow up and kill everybody. <laughs> That'll just be the surprise end of campaign. End of campaign. One day, Gorgo, as he puts his cloaks on and gives that s signature billow to start the day, and everyone in the town notices his house has now vanished into a different dimension. <laughs> just something dumb like that. Oh dear. <laughs> be afraid. Who else but Gorgo? <laughs> But but no, we'll set we'll set up camp. I'll drag the uh, the head roughly to the center so we can keep an eye on it in case it doesn't walk off, because that's the sort of logic Gorgor has. All right. After a good night's rest, you guys do get back to town pretty safely, pretty reasonably, from a mix of fun, making sure to point out potential threats. You guys can go a little wide on. Mm -hmm. And as you start getting closer and closer to town, people do start just, like, eyeing what you're dragging through the middle of town and such. Uh, the occasional hus hushed whispers. Uh, nothing too crazy. To anyone with a high passive perception, it's a lot more just like, oh, wow, did they go slay a dragon? Like, what is this? Why is it so spiky? Why are its teeth so big? It's as big as my house. You know, the usual gossip mongering of adventurers wandering through town. Well, yeah. With a few people who are just uninterested they're like oh look it's more adventures here to show about just kind of the back and forth that you expect mm -hmm. uh jimmy three cups has been kind of just bounding excitedly behind you guys mm -hmm. uh making sure to stay as close as possible to the group without wandering off uh across the journey given you'd already been trapped somewhere once you wanted to get back to town back to drinking safely yep Um, yeah, and yeah, you guys do eventually arrive back in town proper. Mm -hmm. And we will take this along with the the the, 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 the patron. Mr. Mr. Three Cups. Yes, um, I thought it was two, but yeah, three. I forgot. Mr. Cups. Uh, that one. We'll take him to the tavern, to the barkeep, and we'll bring the head as, like, because he might want to hang it on, like, the wall or something. You know, like, you know, like, in the taverns when sometimes they'll have, like, um, like cool trophies and stuff, like, where, like, do you remember in the last town in, Co in Copal where there was the, um, the, like, the, the bear that was all, and it was all stuffed and dead, like? Yeah, that's, that's why we brought this one back, Gogo. Yeah. When he fit through the door? That is not our problem. We just were told to get it and bring it. <laughs> so we get to the the main inn. Yeah. Go through, you know, go in. All right. Try, try and find where where Mister Barkeep is. Uh, you safely make your way back. Mm -hmm. Uh, and as you're even, like, approaching the place, uh, a few of the people do run out to try and just help you with the giant load that you're dragging behind you, just to try and, like, they're just, some of them just want to be part of the thing, part, some of them are just, like, trying to help, because yeah. it is, partially, you don't want to be bringing the horse this close into the middle of, like, the tavern. Mm -hmm. Um, unless you do, I don't know, I don't have to show that one, but... Yep. They're trying to, at the very least, help mitigate that, so they're do what they can to help you bring it in. Do what you can. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody even goes and grabs, like, some cloth to lay over a table. That way it's not just going on top of the table where all the food is directly. <laughs> as they help you set it up just somewhere a little bit better for displaying. Yeah, and we'll, on, uh, Google will go and find the one that sent us on this mission to be like, yeah. come, come, look, we've, we, found, we found Johnny Free Cup and, and the thing. Look, come, come, come. Oh, the the thing. thing. Yeah. <laughs> right. Sparky, we found them. Uh, one sec, just turning off my background noise. Yeah, no. 
she actually hears background noise or she had background noise? Uh, I think, well, I'd say background noise is something's about to go flying off the road outside, I expect. No, no, I didn't know if she had it or she could hear it as in it was one of us. That's why I was just like, in case it was me, I was oh, just Oh, no, no, I had, uh, it's still summer here, quote unquote, effectively. Yeah, it's the tail end of. So just this morning, I turned on AC, dehumidifier, etc. So the room was livable, but with d d it's a little bit harder to have on. I mean, I'll be honest, I haven't heard it the entire time, so if it has been on, pretty much okay with it. It's more that it's just louder than everything else. Yeah, no, I was like, just I saying... I turned Discord up like 10. Yeah, no, no, that's fine, because yeah. I was just going to say, we couldn't hear it, like, through your mic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you guys do get back. The barkeep uh, walks over, looks you guys over, and very much welcomes you guys back. Uh... He's not really, like, rushing over, or, like, grabbing or hugging everyone. He's just kind of, like, he walks over holding a few mugs. Oh, yeah, no, Gorg was, like, an table, excitable child. Not you guys. <laughs> Gorg was, like, an excitable yeah. child dragging this guy over, like, on Christmas morning. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And, uh, and as he, like, walks over to greet us, like, his entire fucking table is covered in a diet T-Rex head. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's just, like, got the thing. He nods to a couple of his staff, uh, looking over the head and, like, the ones who'd placed the, uh, like, cloth down on top of the table, so the table would be at least easier to clean. Mm -hmm. It's a present, so then, like, you could probably, like, display it and show off, like, well, for something that was killed. Well, welcome back, everyone. Uh, I'm not normally one to show off too happily. We do have a few trophies around the place, but... Mm -hmm. As nice as they are, we try to keep the place a little bit uh, mild. We have enough of a reputation as it is. Don't need to go flexing on anyone. But yes, welcome, welcome back. Welcome back, uh, Sir Three Cups. Uh, here are your cups. And he sets down just three beer mugs right in front of Jimmy, along with going back and grabbing, like, just a bottle of wine and some glasses and placing them on the table near closer to you guys. Does he look pissed off when he's given the three cups? Uh... Like, there's that singular second of, like, I want to be mad, but also I've been stuck up a tree for three days. Yeah. So I'm just going to drink these and shut it's, up. It's, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. He has the irritated eye tick for a moment. It's just like, <laughs> I've heard that name too many times, but I can't care. Sulkingly takes yeah. them. Yeah. Like, it would be an annoying nickname in any given situation, except, you know, now he's actually back and he's being given alcohol. He's being given... <laughs> yeah. It's almost that, like, annoying familiarity. And Gorgor -Gor will explain to the, the barkeep, like, if I'm assuming he's coming back with the voice and, like, yeah. talking. Gorgor -Gor will explain, like, oh, well, we went and we found him, and, and Johnny was up here. He was up a tree, and this thing was trying to, to, to bite his ankles, so we came in, and, and, and like, Gabriel did these cool things, and so Sim Simpington... Like kind of hit it with his weapon a little bit, and then I, I kind of made it go to sleep a little bit, and and basically you'll just start retailing the, the entire trope and story, of the death of the dire T Rex and saving Johnny Three Cats. For more details, watch last episode. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> it's on YouTube. <laughs> you know what? Just for extra shell factor, I'll do the YouTube command. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful. You get the full show mode in. Fuck it. Welcome back, Rose. But yeah, so Gorgor will start telling the barkeep everything that went on, how some of the combat was, and like kind of be like, and then this happened, and then, and then after we fought the thing and we were cutting its head off and we were talking to Johnny, there was like these weird people that came and accused me of burning down a village, and then they, they were clearly confused because they, they thought I did it, but. They, they they just said it was an orc and well I didn't do it because I've been with these orc mage. Yeah, and I've been with these guys for eight like for like ever, so Oh must have been confused. But we managed to kill it, we got its head, we sent them away looking for whoever burnt the village down, and then we come back here. Uh, anyone who's spectating Gorvor's conversation here? Can I very know. easily identify that this guy is being like this guy is actually taking Gorgor pretty seriously, but in the same way that like a child telling you about their dream, he's like, uh huh, mm -hmm. okay, and like he is giving it like the sincere full attention. He's not like condescending to Gorgor. Yeah, 
He's being respectful. Yeah, he's just being surprised. I don't want to say surprised. Like, you know, Gorgor does actually command a lot of respect overall, but yeah, he's just, he's being very, very polite. Well, and just treating Gorgor, you know, very sincerely, taking Gorgor very seriously. As he should. In, as he in, should. In, in respect to that, I am not actually filling him in in his mind what actually mm -hmm. happened whilst Gorgor's telling him this. Yeah. So it's like, you're not. No, I am not. I am not mentally actually telling him what happened while Gorgor's giving him the story. I am letting Gorgor tell the full story. Oh, okay. It's by no yep. means the perfect story, but he does, Gorgor does his best. He just he's basically Gorgor's like a highlights package because he doesn't remember everything, but he remembers the big important moments. Mm -hmm. Now you're sure you didn't burn down this village, right? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, because I've been with these for like ages. And how long is ages? Um. Well, I've been with him for a, about a week and a bit now. That, but oh, they I... they were talking about like somewhere not even here. They were like on about somewhere like over an ocean away. And you've never been over the ocean. Well, I came from there, but it didn't sound like the place that I've come from. No, you came from the ocean. Well. Uh, well, I came like well from the from the ocean to here, but uh, there was like a home after before that. But that wasn't the place because it had a different name. I don't remember, but it wasn't the same name. Okay, okay. And Gogo uh, just, and Gogo go off on a tangent and vaguely describe the people because I don't believe. They gave their names to Gorgor, so he'll just describe them as best as he can. Yeah. Which is very, very basic descriptions. So I think we did meet them before. Oh, yeah, because we they... You went to go and meet your friend. Oh, yeah, they wanted to invite us to dinner, and then they tried to arrest me. I think... That's not... No. That's not dinner, is it? No. Yeah, I asked for the names and you were there. I don't know if that counts. Gorgor probably wouldn't we, remember. We Honestly, Gorgor probably wouldn't remember anyway. Like... Gorgor, because what it is, uh, you know, I wrote my notes in character, and Gorgor didn't yes. write the names down, so Gorgor really would not have a clue to remember. Say, no, I'm, or, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of looking over to Simpington and like, well, you remember the name? Oh, wait, no, I do have the name. <laughs> do, do you want to know the entirety of the notes from last session that Gorgor wrote? Paul Winthink, I burned down a town, came to us after we killed Dire T Rex. That was my entire notes from last session. <laughs> because I write them in character. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, Corwin. Well, it was, I think his name was Corwin or something, but yeah, after we killed the T-Rex, he like came with like some like mean looking people and was saying some nasty things and like accused me of like burning the town down and stuff, but I've never been there before. I mean I can do like really cool magic and stuff, but I'll make fire. Not yet. I can make a plant grow really quickly, and I can make people go to sleep. Okay, that's really, a very interesting Friday. Really tempted, like Flint and I is really tempted at that moment when he says make people fall asleep to pretend to fall asleep right there and then. No, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that. This is what happens when Gorgon becomes the unexpected face of the party, okay? With Charisma 12 and Intelligence 6. <laughs> I mean, I, I was... The thing is, though, it's not... It then... becomes like he was forced. It was like, no, I it was going to speak to him. I was going to speak to him, and then you were just like, i got to tell him like I'm a little five-year-old. I know. But that, yeah, it, it, Gorgor sometimes needs a, okay, calm down. <laughs> Otherwise, he's just going to wind him up and watch him go. Well, like I said, there's no stopping Gorgor, there's only aiming him. That is entirely fair. That is entirely fair, actually. That is a fair point. <laughs> it's just pointing you in a direction rather than stop him. Yeah. So, it looks like you guys have done some uh, good work eating mm -hmm. on the house tonight. Uh, you weren't planning on eating this thing, were you? Or No, I... no, I'm pretty sure. It was meant to be a gift for, for you, for... Like, to put up on the wall or something. Or at least proof that we did kill something. Yeah. Oh no, I am, I am very grateful of that. You guys have done more than enough as a service can go. Like, you would be surprised at just... 
a single creature like this might upset the ecosystem in either direction. Mm -hmm. What? All the animals might be a little meaner or less mean now that it's gone. Oh. Eventually something will likely take its place, but hopefully not something quite as big and hopefully not something quite as territorial. Might also be the case that if you want to try and, you know, maybe get some kind of trade routes going with Corporation again. Mm -hmm. you know, now might be a good time given it's got nothing big there. Yes, that is that is a very fair point as well. Like, most of our trade routes wouldn't go through those hills as directly, but even so, if it's pushing other things out of its habitat, you know, yep. an apex pushes out the smaller predators and everything spills over, which it's been especially bad as of late with all the new additions to the roads and such that I'm sure you guys have encountered at least once or twice. Just the wild monsters, the fiends. Yep. It's been just a cascading flurry of monsters pushed into new habitats, into new habitats. Mm -hmm. uh, this will definitely, at the very least, help. Uh, trade routes with New Couple would definitely be a good plan. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, you said that they're pushing into new habitat, these creatures. Well, what was that? Old habitat. Like, that was the whole thing of the fact of this thing came in, took the old habitat, so it forced the other creatures out of their habitats into new habitats, which forced the other ones out. That doesn't... I get where you're coming from, but it doesn't actually answer my question. The only reason I was asking is because if so Finn's moved into this habitat, something else has even moved into his habitat, or something's created him, or, you know, there's a reasoning why this is happening. Ah. The reason why we're getting closer to trade routes, something has happened, right? That is a very clever question. I'm not sure I want to know the answer to that question, personally, but yes, if if something this large and this mean has been pushed, what was big enough to push it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Or was I mean, it a case that its uh, its natural food grow uh, like uh, like for example, if there were no apples in a certain area and all you ate is apples, you'd have to go searching for apples somewhere else. Uh -huh. Do you know what I mean? Maybe its food has gone or yeah. it could be any number of reasons but it's just I mean, strange that it got close to civilization that doesn't happen a lot does it well i mean could it not be one of the two things that your friend said we're now wandering around i'm sorry i didn't quite catch that for him could it not be one of the two two things that your new friend has said is wandering around oh yes 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 got it understood Maybe. So, maybe we should think about possibly getting rid of those things. It might make everything a bit easier. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll have to see. We can look into it anyway. Mm -hmm. That might be for the best. At the very least, something of this creature's behavioural patterns. Uh, they tend to favor places that are a little bit more humid, a little bit more tropical. And where would we go to find that? Uh, probably either over the mountains to the east, or probably further west of this town. Okay. Right? I turned to this yeah, corner. that's. I heard rumors of some sort of crater lake to the east, and that would be where I would have assumed they were from. Uh, though, I mean, I've only got word of mouth from word of mouth from word of mouth over here. Mm -hmm. So, for context, you mean here? Yeah. Ash. Yeah. Okay. I figured that might be the case. So he's more than likely come over the mountains, so there's more, some, it must be something in there. 
That would make sense. That would make sense. Again, I can't guess for certain. I've been here for a good many years at this point. Uh, so I only hear the tales others bring my way, but I've heard strange tales of large, massive beasts, similar to this one, but of some on four legs, some with many horns. A huge variety seems to be just larger, more dire creatures as a whole there. Like something is breeding the meme. Or if the food chain is just so lethal that they have to have grown this way. Hmm. Say, this, I mean, this thing's covered in spines and horns, and, you know, that's normally what you'd find on a creature of prey, so whatever you whatever hunts this thing must be terrifying. I mean, I'm sure we could put it to sleep as well, because this didn't really put up too much of a There you go, go, go. The voice of confidence once again. Well, we, this one, like, it only hurt us a little bit. Well, me. Didn't really hurt anyone else. Yup. Mainly because you were too busy climbing all over it. Oh, yeah. Well, that's because Lovey gave me that spell so I could, like, ride it and punch it in the back of the head and make it go to sleep easier. Oh, yeah, that was fun. I, I did miss, though. I nearly fell off. Until I did. I hadn't thought of using that until this this specific thing, and it was more so because I wanted to see you ride a T Rex, a dire land dragon. Sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, because it was land dragon is what we've heard it as. I've said T Rex. My bad. <laughs> oh no, like that that can completely be a cultural thing. Like, you know, Fair enough. Yeah, you might know it where you're from as a T Rex, but. They no, call that, it land dragon. That's fair, but that was Danny doing it because yeah. Gorgon had just yeah, took yeah. it whatever people called it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I nearly did. Like, if it, if I'd have had like a little bit more time, I could have. And then I fell off because he died. I think we uh taking a little bit too much of your time at the moment, so uh, I think we'll get ourselves settled and then we can get this sorted. But I think we'll be enjoying drinks for tonight, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, please, please drink away. Uh, we'll have some. We'll have some work on the way. It should be good. And this is all good for uh, helping sort of sort the course of the mercenary. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Just just rest up. I I don't even know how you guys carried this back here. I that must have been a nightmare and a half. Yeah. Hey, it was a bit heavy, but we uh, we had Sir Simpinton's horse to help. And and a uh, and a. Uh, Sledge that we made. Yeah. But yeah. It's but very good, very good. Mm-hmm. So yeah, if everyone steps away and wants to have a drink for a second, I uh, I will I will be back in just a moment. Okay. Yeah, so he lets you leave your trophy on the table it's currently on. Uh, it clears up the bar a little bit, like you know, there have been a few people just like gossiping and talking, but they're at least respectful enough to be like, ah, this looks like official business that is being discussed. We're not going to, uh... Yeah. Yeah, so they're they're looking it over, they're just kind of got something, but, like, he kind of just, like, makes a little berth of a table where it's like, yeah, there's just one ring of empty tables now around the head of this thing. And it gives you guys a couple of the tables to just sit at, push together, uh, plate some... Uh, plate some roast hog on one of the tables... Just a mix of fruits and veggies on another. Hell yeah. And then just has two bottles of wine, so a few tall glasses of rum. So this really is, they're putting on like a, a thing for us. Yeah. Yeah, Google will live it up, man. In the words of Sir Alan, they put on a spread. <laughs> Who are that? Mm. Ah, Google's going to live it up, man. Like, he's going to enjoy himself. He's going to eat food. He's going to drink wine. Yeah. He's going to... He's going to have the fucking time of his life. What is everyone? All right. Is anyone else going to be? That's the question, because no one else. Is. That's because I'm listening. What are you doing? I don't drink, so I'm not going to be drinking. But I will <laughs> sit sit there and watch and 
entertain myself watching you mm. lot make fools of yourself as you get more and more mm. drunk. Yes, uh, I would like a very small, large wine, please. How does that work? Well, well, what? It is a <laughs> large what? wine, but it has to be small. That still makes no <gasps> sense, but... <laughs> what? Yes. Have you heard of the word medium, my dear fellow? <laughs> no, I'm not a medium, I can't read people's minds. He wants a big drink, but the, in his hands is a small. He's been a weirdo. Right. <laughs> 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 large small. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh, fucking hell. I can't decide if that's an in-character thing or if that's a Liam thing. Who thinks that's character? Liam's best characters, you just, they just blend. Yeah, they're, they're all just Liam. Uh, I will have a... So Simpington will have a very fine, like, vintage she can find. Or we'll be eating with cutlery. Wait, the wine okay. or the food? Wine. Yes, he's eating the wine with a fork and knife. I wouldn't recommend it, but every, you know, has their own way. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Ash, please direct us away from this. <laughs> uh, so he does return, just kind of like, not even blinking at Paladin Dave's request. Just dropping him just a bottle and two different glasses of his choosing. Like, one on the smaller end, one on the larger end. He just washes his hands of the situation. Yeah. Um, and with that, he does kind of, like, motion as well to just, like, the local bard that's playing. Tells them to just kind of play it up a little bit. Just, just make it a bit of a party night, because anyone with higher insight can read that it's not just for you guys that he's throwing this party. Like, you guys are the guests of this party. But some of it is very much to just boost overall, like, town morale, people morale, just between the dour mood that had been hanging in the air recently, followed by, you know, oh, Jimmy's been missing kind of thing. And Jimmy is joining you guys on this thing. He is just absolutely going to town with whatever he can get his hands on. But you can tell it might be a little bit more of, like, he is using you guys to help lighten the mood. It's like, ah, yes, the heroes return. Let's let's celebrate the heroes, everyone. Everyone have a drink. Everyone have some food. And just trying to help rouse people. Yeah. Bugger's all in. In he's all in oh, at yeah. that point. Like he'll he'll be. He's buying whatever this man's selling. Hmm. Yeah, like he is still treating you guys well. Like he's not being a dick to you. It's just it's. Yeah, yeah. Motivation wise, he might be a little bit uh split on that one. Yeah. Absolutely fine. Um, yeah, he throws you guys to your party, he lets you guys just drink, eat, be merry, have whatever fun you want, passes a few bo uh, beers around to just a couple other customers occasionally, and he just kind of tries to make sure that the mood is going, mm. um, before leaving you guys to just enjoy whatever you wish to enjoy, discuss whatever you wish to discuss. There is nothing Google... Actively wishes to discuss, but if anyone wants to talk to him, he's there. Gabriel, you said you're just sitting and watching. Are you just watching people get drunk hanging out? Yeah, um, I'm going to enjoy... Well, I'm on research duty, really. Watching the interactions of people. People, and trying to understand why. Alright, uh, it seems that a lot of them are just on the baser levels of just having fun. Uh, and obviously, like, what that might be to you is its own varied. But it seems to be a lot of it is just... Almost because of how dark the times have become, they're enjoying those little just sparks of joy that they get on occasion. Like, they get that one minute of happiness and they hold on to it tight, hoping to use it to hold back the darkness. Um, there are some people who are just so drunk, they probably don't even have a thought in their head. There are some people who are just taking slow, easy times drinking. Uh, Gorgor is just quite jovial, quite ecstatic, just having fun. Uh, Simpinton's enjoying his meal, just taking it nice, uh, and comfortably. Lovey, how are you doing? Are you celebrating any? 
Um, yeah, I will have a look. Who else is in the bar? Is it just us and our friends and a couple of other, you know, people having fun? They've given you a ring of tables to kind of, like, have the center of attention to yourself, to just have a little bit of, like, freedom of movement. Uh, mm -hmm. So there's your dragon head in the middle table, and there's, like, a ring of tables around it that are all empty, two of which have... One of which is, like, the meat platter table, and the other of which is the fruits and veggies platter table. Oh, God. And then there's so... a few different uh, beverages on each of them. Oh, God, imagine if someone gets so drunk they accidentally go to the T-Rex table thinking it's the meat table. Oh, oh no! Yeah. <laughs> they pull oh, up, no! They pull off what they think's a drumstick, and it's just one of the spikes with a lump of meat <laughs> on the end. Oh, oh no! Uh, yeah, and then the rest of the tables are just set just enough where it's like, hey, you guys can sit here if you want. They're empty tables. They've got some cutlery. They've got some plates. Make of it what you will, almost buffet style. Uh, that said, beyond that ring of tables, uh, the bar is very slowly getting more and more lively. Oh. Uh, at some point in the day, Gorgo is going to because it wasn't at the bar where we got it, but it was the um, it was like a wine shop, wasn't it, where we got the time travel wine. No, that was Aylesbury, right? That's where we Just are. Just still in Aylesbury. Oh, but it, it, it was one of the it was, it was one of the more outskirting uh, say, alcohol shops. It was a specific shop, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So Gorgo's gonna go there um, at some point through the night to go and grab two bottles of time travel whiskey, wine, whatever. All right, roll me a history check. That's... Yep. Don't know. Uh, Gorgor, you're having a bit of a drunken wander around aimlessly. Did anyone tag along with him? Did anyone... Was you know, he just allowed uh, to walk out on his own? If he's going to go wondering and everyone else is in is in area, I, I would have probably followed. I reckon that's what I would have been doing. Right. Uh... Yeah, you see Gorgor is very much just... At one point, he's going around in circles a little bit, just, like, taking the next right turn over and over and over again around a single stall. <laughs> and the stall owner's getting very worried. Um, okay. He's just wandering a little bit. He's he's trying to remember... He's, he's trying to retrace his steps, but there's just a couple, like, missing holes. So, like... He hits a point where he's pretty sure he's supposed to take a left, except there's a wall there. Um, he's not quite getting himself into any too much trouble. As drunk as he is, his mind is so one track, he's currently focused on trying to get to the place, which is stopping him from... Like, because he's focused on going from A to B, he's not focused on whatever trouble he might accidentally get himself into. Yeah, Google's was one track at this point. Fair enough. I would keep him out of trouble, as if he's going to do something stupid. Yeah. I would turn him around and say, yeah, let's not go that way. <clears throat> or try to, shall I say, really. Yeah. As long as Gorgor gets to the, the wine shop, he's happy. And then, obviously, back to the tavern. Uh, Gorgor, roll me a second history check. Yeah. Do I get advantage if... Gabriel's helping in any way? Uh, yeah. If Gorgor has communicated to Gabriel, hey, I want to go get more wine, I'd imagine, and Gabriel understands the shop. I'd imagine if Gabriel at any point ever asked where I was going, Gorgor would have been like, I'm going to get more of the, uh, the time travel wine. In that case, then, uh, if I knew where the place was, I would yeah. direct him where oh, to yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. And you're much more sober. And between the two of it, it's... You're still letting Gorgor lead a little bit, but you're making sure he doesn't, like, take any two wrong turns, yeah. get too far off track. Eventually, Gorgor wa wanders in, late afternoon, already reeking of alcohol a little bit. 
Uh, no, right, hello, people. sirs. Hello. Sorry. Um, the time travel wine. You still have any really strong one? Are you certain you need any today, sir? It's a gift. Uh, roll persuasion. I will do my cloak of billowing fashions to help. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look okay. at me, I'm flashy. Ah. The billowing cloak wraps around your face. Oh no. Okay. Uh, sir, I, I think you may have already found where you wanted to buy alcohol. I, I think you might already have plenty of it. I don't know if... No, the... If you're insistent on making a sale, I just... I, I don't... I'm not sure I quite understand. I'm, I'm not... Uh, it's not for me. I'm not going to drink it. It's for someone else. Kind of looks to Gabriel, back to Gorkor, back to Gabriel a little bit, like, gives a little bit of a worried, confused look. Oh, that's a great, say, it's fine, it's it's a gift. So if you can spare some, that would be appreciated. Certainly, that'll be five gold. Is that each or for the two? Are you buying two bottles? Yeah. Per bottle. Okay. Okay. Gorgor will... Fetch out two um, bundles of coins, which total to mm. ten gold. Thank, thank you. She tries her best to hand them to Gabriel and not Gorgor. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take them and put them away. Okay, I've put put I've put them in your inventory then, and I I won't put them in mine. Yeah. As soon as we get out of the shop, I would give them to you though. Oh, okay, fair yeah. enough. I'll I'll put them in my inventory then. <laughs> Thank you, Gabriel, for helping um, get the... Uh, uh, it's fine. Now we've got to find a tavern right. again. <laughs> I'll direct him back to tavern. It's very easy, because you just came from there as opposed to yeah. trying to find a place you were at a few days and a few battles ago. Yeah. Back to town, super easy. Right. <laughs> Now, this is where it's going to get interesting. <laughs> All right. And I tell you, you eventually return uh, uh, no. in their absence. No. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, go on. If you want to do what they did while we were gone first, do that. But I wanted to do something the second I got back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just going to give people one minute while we're yeah, gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. No worries. Do that first. Do that first. Everyone, you have a Gorgor free uh, dining experience. What do you choose to do with it? Lovey? Simpington? Um, so what's it like in the pub? Is it is it hopping? <laughs> it is very slowly picking up and becoming a lot more lively than the first time you guys came here. Right. Okay. Uh, so they are giving you guys a bit of a berth to just do with the room as you please. Uh, but if you want to go mingle, you may absolutely go mingle. It's more that they're like respectfully giving you the like. Yeah, we're not going to go just like badger the valiant returning heroes that have slain the dragon kind of thing. If they want to come hang out with us, they can, but we're not going to just yeah. swarm them and harass them. Yeah, I'll go mingle. I like meeting new people. Alright. Talk to people? Just general mingling. <laughs> Roll me a mingle check. Uh, persuasion, would that be? Mm-hmm. Truck? Or something? Insight? I don't know. <laughs> Pick a d20, roll it. D20, roll a d20. Okay, okay, okay. It's a three on the mingle track. <laughs> uh, you start flirting with a couple different people, having a bit of fun, just play bantering around and such, and uh, you can't quite tell see if Good. No, I was just gonna say, like, it's more so to try and make friends. So, yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, more just in the like playful banter, not in the like heavy romantic angles. Mm -hmm. You're just making fun, ming you know, making fun, mingling, chatting around a bit, and you can't tell if it's just people are a little 
intimidated or simply distant. Yeah. But you feel occasionally a couple of your jokes don't land. Not too terribly. Like, you're still having a fun time. You're still drunk. You don't know better half the time. You're like, I think that was a funny joke. Uh, yeah, I'll just yeah. my way forlornly eventually back to the table and mm-hmm. sit next to who's ever there and just be like, people are weird in this part of the world. There were some solid jokes. But yeah, cool. Thank you. I like to imagine our uh, more righteous paladin is just sat there, knife and fork, just slowly eating away, very politely, very Yeah, cleanly. yeah, he probably would have wiped yeah. his mouth. Oh, hmm. Sorry? You're saying you're the more righteous paladin. <laughs> oh no, I have a righteous paladin yeah. on. <laughs> uh If I'm the righteous one, I have two glasses of wine, very uh, nicely being drunk now. Uh, wait, are you double fisting glasses of wine? Well, they gave me two glasses, so yeah. Oh my god. Ooh, Jesus Christ. Uh, so and, Simpleton and, would be like wiping his mouth with a napkin. It's like, uh, how were the townsfolk? And the problem is, Liam, because the two glasses of wine are two different sizes, one arm's going to end up bigger than the other, and you're going to look like you got wanker's arm. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's fisting. Yeah. No. Oh dear. Oh dear. How were the townsfolk? They're just a bit, like, tense about things. Yeah, just strange. You know, I just was trying to, you know, talk to people, maybe chat some people up, make some friends, the usual stuff, and yeah, just they weren't feeling it, you know? Maybe they're a bit afraid of us, or maybe they're a little bit. They're having a bad day or something. I don't know. I won't let it affect me. Yeah, well, I you, mean, you... I... Yeah, sorry. Yes. I was just about to say, I, I, I haven't hung around with many townsfolk. I'm not sure if they're, they're weird or not, but they have been in the shadow of a corrupted angel for some time. That, that's that got to do something. It is. You are very, very true. Do you have any friends, then? Sir Simpleton, have you been around townsfolk a lot? Do you like have friends? There was there was some people at the um at the polo club I played at. Yes, you played at a polo club, really? Yes, uh, father said it would be good for my uh, riding skills. Right, okay. Because every young man needs to know how to <coughs> well, Yes, he, he was trying to make me like a holy warrior. So my uh, my I, I have an older brother. So he was the heir and I was the spare. And uh, mm-hmm. so I, he was trying to make me like a holy warrior, something that would be good for the house, for the family. Yeah, because you're a sir, right? So, do you have land specifically, or are you like a lord's son? Uh, like, what is your... the, the second one. Really? Okay, okay. From around here, then? You're from like this continent or country? Or you uh, Ash, my law is not this deep. Um, <laughs> it was. It oh, was yeah. <laughs> it's pretty <Sorry. perfect. laughs> What? You mean you don't have a robust 10-page backstory detailing your individual uh, morning ritual prayers, evening ritual prayers? The, li- uh, the deep you Simpleton lineage just not being a... Yeah. Maybe you Look, should have had Cass help build your character. Yeah. <laughs> not even Rose, just Cass. Yeah, just, just <laughs> yeah. I mean, just I, 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 I'll, I'll be from this... Uh, yes, I'm... Yeah. A couple of days ride from here, and then I, I came here to spread new wings. Oh, okay, cool. So you were like a fancy sort. I will fancy. actually help bail you out on this one. Uh, your family, while not directly of the Kingdom of Luster, 
owns land in the outlying, like, they have the big fortress city in the middle. Yeah. Uh, you guys more, like, you know, they obviously have, like, farmland outside the city walls and stuff. Uh, you guys are actually, like, here, effectively. Like, you have a small little, uh, outer, you know, like, outer mansion here. And you guys are in charge of, like, the maintenance of this, like, this fort in particular. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Like, your family lives within the borders of Luster, but not within the walls of Luster. And you have, you know, you trade your protection and divine might and such for the loyalty and crops of the local uh, peasants. Yeah, was that, was that Luster with a now? Uh, the Kingdom of Luster, yes. Yeah. L-U-S-T-O-R. Because that's where Gorgor wants to go next. Because that's where, um, you know, the guy that we were looking for uh, in Aylesbury that Gorgor came to find. Uh, that was where yeah. he said to go. Ah. Uh, uh, so, yeah, you'll say to Lovie, like, yes, yeah, sir, my family uh, maintained the southern citadel of Luster, but we, we live Panini outside. Panini actually put a... You're a real fancy gentleman. Got it. Well, uh, my my brother is, I guess, now, or my still my father. Did you not want to, you know, rule? I, I couldn't. What do you mean? Why couldn't you? Because my brother's going to. So, have you, like, since you were a little kid, been on the, the path of you are going to be a holy warrior. Uh, that's that's what I've been trained as, yes. I mean, I obviously I've made a few decisions uh, in recent years. So yeah, how did you get on the the Garcia train? Oh. I, I I did I did some reading and um, some of that some of the like the classic paladin readings about the demonic entities, devils, and. But I, I it, something really spoke to me, and, and then I, I started practicing uh, little unions to Glacier, and it was just, it, it, it's, that's just how it started. Insight check. <laughs> to see, like, not like Izzy lying or whatever, I just want to see if it's more like when he says, oh, there's something that caught my eye, or something that interested me. Is it dodgy? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I don't think I need to roll, actually. I think I can make my own assumption and judgment. <laughs> <laughs> sure it is. Uh, he's like a, he would have been like a, a I don't know, a 19 year old <laughs> boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Just make your own assumptions. It's fine. Yeah. He, he was a little lordling, second heir to the throne. He doesn't need to get married or whatever. He has no prospects. I get it completely. Okie dokie. He uh, wanted it like an energy big titty devil girlfriend. I mean, it just I, I, the insight is not. Uh, it's not required. It's... <laughs> big titty fiend girlfriend. Got it. Yeah. Passive inside of five. Guess who is going to get that? But never mind. Anyway, so um, I don't know. You know. So you basically. So how does it work between you and Glacier now then? Like how are you connected? I um I I, I perform my rituals. I um I'm somewhat of a trailblazer blazer in terms of I, I sort of melded uh some paladin oaths to sort of connect to her power source. It's not it's not been unheard of before, but it's it's something I tried. So that's why I'm a bit different from the people in that building. Oh, so instead of it being that... Uh, so, yeah, because I'm trying to... I've been trying to learn more about magic. I, I, personally, I'm from somewhere where magic is basically second to murder in some cases. Like, they hate, hate magic. Um, <laughs> but there's all different types of magic and types of bonds with other, you know, entities. I never knew that there was this kind of variety in the world. Yes. Um, I guess, like, a, a holy warrior usually, or, like, a, a warrior, a no warrior, it's probably a more technical term, uh, mm -hmm. is bound to oves, and I managed to make those oves bound to glacier. Oh. 
fascinating. So, yeah. Do you know Glacier? Because I know the um, the Bard fellow tries to neg you occasionally, and uh, what and, neg? And... What's negging? Neg yeah, you tried to explain this to me before. Make I'm sure you pronounce to... negging very carefully. <laughs> Demonetize, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to do what? No, I have a speech impediment where my ends are peas. No, um. <laughs> Uh, sorry? No, that, that, was, that was so out of character. Um, what, 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 what's he trying to do? Uh, so, not... to, to, to woo in one of my books, to woo a woman, sometimes an obvious compliment, one that is uh, completely fulfilling to a woman's self-esteem, is, just, is not enticing enough to the woman. So to pay like a backhanded compliment or to aggravate the woman a little bit can be flirtatious. He thinks I'm insulting you because That's I like you. He's basi terrible idea. basically treating me and keeping keen is what he's going with the logical. That's what he's going for, I yeah. know, but don't forget as well, like, if Flobby's not interacted with it and he's just said, oh yeah, you have to insult a woman and then she likes it and she just looks at him with this kind of look of sheer disbelief and go and just says, that doesn't fucking work. I can say it as one of the wooable targets, shall we say. Don't do that. That's bad. I mean, like, I'm pretty much told him the same thing. <laughs> also, I, I love how he's having don't... this conversation with me sat at the table. <laughs> well, we just assume that, you, that we'd kind of like. We're like talking to each other a little bit closer. <laughs> if that makes sense. It wasn't like you were staring at us and we were talking in front of you, but like yeah. you just make well, conversation well, at a table. I'd like, like 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 imagine I'd have been at the table and just watching you have this conversation. So, uh, well, I mean, you you would say that it's uh, it's, it's a secret of the female persuasion, is it not? <laughs> Uh, no. Oh. How do I explain this in a way that I'm not obviously going to confuse the situation, but the easiest way to woo a woman or a man or literally anybody is to go up to them and go, hi, I like you. Do you like me back? If they say yes, get in. Enjoy yourself. If they say no, just leave it alone. That's the easiest way, no? And I mean, you can usually tell because if there's long draw out stairs or, you know, your hands touch as you're putting out their cutlery, all that kind of stuff. It's beautiful. But meh, just don't neg somebody. I'm, I, just don't do it. Don't insult somebody to try and attract them. It doesn't work. It just makes you sound like a complete tool. I, I mean, Flynn Sire hasn't mastered the art as I have. I mean, maybe his bad example... <laughs> Is throwing you off. Let's let's roll play for a second. <laughs> oh no! I would love to see you at work, Mister. Uh, well, sorry, Sir Simpinton. I assume there's a female or a male. Any? Would you show us what you've got? Go flirt with somebody. Go use your negging technique, so I can see it at first hand. Oh no! Yeah. Well, he will stand up and be like, N a challenge. What are we betting on? Uh, how about <laughs> if, if it is that you get a slap in the face, you owe me a favour that I can call on you at any time? And, we'll and the same for me if I win? Don't fall yeah. for it. <laughs> I, I will hold up my hands. <laughs> Shake. Just uh, a technicality. If I dodge out of the way before the slap lands, does that still <laughs> a win for me? No, that's still up on me. So if somebody goes to slap you in the face or acts upset with you or thinks that you have insulted them, throws their drink in your face, anything that is could be deemed as an unhappy response, it goes to me. If it is that you get some, goes to you, dear. 
Or, or a positive response. Yes. Okay. Because I'm sworn to my lady. Oh, of course. <laughs> As you guys are shaking, Korokor arrives back, two bottles in hand, with That's... Gabriel in tow. Actually, this is going to help me a great deal with what I wanted to do. <laughs> Oh god, <laughs> I'm worried now. I wasn't sat next to Lovey at first, but I am now going to sit next to Lovey. And oh, well, you probably sat in my chairs. I've stood up to go away. And like, what, and, sit and, in <laughs> hello, hello, Lovey. Uh, and while she's distracted, I'm going to attempt to go into her bag. Oh no! Oh no! I Why am I that. feeling filter of love vibes? This is getting very out of hand fast, okay? <laughs> is that against my passive perception or something? I, it depends have... on what Ash wants to do. So essentially, I want to try and see if I can sneak into her bag. I... While she's uh... not looking. If she's not looking... I, I am mean... distracted, I will admit. Yeah. Which should be low difficulty, but still some difficulty of Gorgor is also... Uh, let's go with the word distracted again. Yeah. Uh, I pissed, yeah. And essentially, um, he's going to attempt to stash the two bottles of time travel wine in her bag without her mm -hmm. seeing. Uh -huh. Oh, indeed. Do I roll with disadvantage because drunk, or is it? Am I still flat? You're both going to be a disadvantage. So I'm just just roll it normal. Oh, oh my! That's a pretty solid roll. Rose. There is. You yeah. So I'm so intrigued. Okay, so. Well, that that that's it. There's, there's right. no there's no needing to explain it. So Rose, obviously, at some point later, probably at bedtime, Lovey's gonna find two bottles of time travel wine in her bag, as Gorgo oh. has just snuck them in. And Gorgo's gonna play it coy and just sit there for the rest of the evening, unless Simpinton comes back and kicks him out. <laughs> Or trying to woo Lovey at this point because <laughs> that's a better way to do it give a girl presents, not insults, no I'm kidding and she'll just kind of lean over, not understanding that at this point he's kind of like tucking two things it's just kind of like talking to him like, watch yeah. go, go. Uh, it's a matter of interpretation I think, it, he's either given her wine or he's secretly like placed amnesia wine on her right, like, well, well hang on well, interpretations... hang on, hang on, Ash has, has the, the thing we've discussed happened with the wine yet? Is it all ready? What? <laughs> what? Don't worry about it. Wait, minute, have I decided? To, have we talked about pranking each other in this game? I'm trying to remember which game we've done what. Don't worry about it. But um, okay. but no, as you like, Lena, like, why? What? What's he doing? And then he kind of like Gorgo snaps up, like as he's just put the boy in, and he's just shutting the flap. He kind of sits up. Oh, oh, uh, uh, why? What? What? What's he doing? Watch. Okay. Sir Simpin is going to go and use a technique he calls negging on a young lady. Oh, I've heard it's of that before. Have he told you? you, yeah, he told you about it last time when you listened in. Oh, I, I, I genuinely don't. I, I just genuinely with Sir Simpington, I have to kind of edit when he talks because otherwise. I will start to feel sorry for him that he's, you know, developed this way of thinking. And that's not good for anybody. I don't want to have to pity somebody. It's not the way that we should be operating. So, yeah, I edit. Do apologise. Okay. So I will go the watch. I'll watch you. So I'll watch in. <laughs> go, go, like, after she turns back, kind of reties the knot on her bag, like, leans back in and finishes the job done. And job's done. <laughs> Job done. Job's done. I don't want to know what he's done. Like I'm quite worried now that I am somehow going to. Maybe it's just an innocent gift that he's just like winding you up. You don't know. There's only one way to find out, and that's when Lovey eventually finds them. Uh, uh, but either okay. way, um, Rufy wine aside, let's find out what Sir Simpington's doing. <laughs> Go back to Sir Simpington. <laughs> So from Rufy wine to negging, what the hell is this turning into? <laughs> I don't ask questions. <laughs> she just t she just makes us roll. She doesn't ask questions. 
All right. So, uh, are you looking for any particular traits in people? Are you just walking up to the first person you see? How are you going about this? Did uh, I'm not sure if Lovey said Lovey didn't suggest to a specific <laughs> person, did she? She just went and just. I think she was, she was trying to find someone that you would think is nice, sort of thing. Like, whatever, whatever's in Simpinton's, like, Aya, sort of thing. Okay, we'll just go for, like, a stereotypical buxom farm girl, then, and go up. Alright. <laughs> watching Daddy's stream and watching that Sage nod made me laugh. <laughs> Um, roll me a perception and an insight. All right. That comes through. Yeah. Yeah, it did. Oh. <laughs> He's not good at either. <laughs> oh, no. So your insight into analyzing the people that you've scouted is not too terrible. Unfortunately, the people that you've scouted, like your initial net cast, was very poorly thrown. Okay. It's more dropped than thrown. Well, that's... It's like, ah, yes, of the people that you scouted, you got a good read on them. Unfortunately, you've just picked really bad people to scout kind of thing. Um. One of the people you've scouted was somebody that you thought you might kind of recognize, but you couldn't quite place it until you started approaching her for conversation. And you realized uh, the place you recognized her from was when the party was investigating other local religious acts. <laughs> and she was somebody who was working there who has come to get a drink on her night off. Oh, okay. Uh, just give me two seconds. I need to try and figure out how to make this a car crash. Uh, you have spotted some other people. You have spotted uh, a very nicely dressed country bumpkin girl. Uh, you spotted. I assumed you were scouting girls. Uh, yeah, girl yeah, yeah. I, I hadn't really. Yeah. Based on the direction Lovey had pushed you, more so of. Uh, so, uh, girl from the de demon ha devil house or farm girl? Yeah, if you want to keep looking, there are others also available. Uh, but ju that was just the most immediate, like, glances you got, quick reads on people. Like, you know, the longer you spend looking around, the more awkward it's going to be if you just stood in the middle of the tavern looking at people. Ash, why is my roll 20 turned into an anime harem, like, dating simulator? Harem? <laughs> oh, fucking harem, what the fuck? Harem <laughs> Dion. Uh, okay. <laughs> this whole character is designed to torture Danny. Anyway, yeah, I'll go up to the farm girl, because he would be a bit, like, perturbed by... A girl from the a girl that no You mean a girl that knows what she wants? <laughs> yeah, 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 maybe. All right. Uh, you make your approach. And it seems as well that she's not really touching uh, anything alcoholic, at least that you can immediately spot on the table. She seems to just be enjoying her... Uh, light dinner, and watching the show that's been the mix of the bards celebrating and your adventuring party coming back, and she's just been enjoying the atmosphere. Well, she does look up to you a little confused, surprised, not really mad or anything, just like, oh, hey, a person's wandered over. You're from the tables, right? Yes, I am from the uh, returning adventure, adventuring party. I am the white knight of these roads to Simpington. Okay. Uh, is there something I can do for you? Did you, did you need anything? What I... is your name? What? 
oh, I, I mean, my name's not really important. Like, you're, you're the returning heroes, you're, I'm just, I'm just here to enjoy my dinner. Ah, I see. Well, it, you're all very important. That's why we go out and venturing, you see. I think, thank you, I think. I... May, may I pay you a compliment before I go my way again? Certainly. I, I, I just got it. I've been admiring those arms of you. For, for another woman, those big arms would be managed, but you pulled them off, I must say. <laughs> Did you just say big arms? What is yeah. That? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Holy shit! Let's just mock people's arms. <laughs> just so I can understand, he said, on any other woman, those arms were, would be mannish, but you seem to pull it off. It did, yeah, that's why I'm just like, what on earth are you saying? <laughs> Make a dick saving throw? <laughs> <laughs> well, one of us has to be good at lifting heavy things. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not pulling, mate. <laughs> I mean, he is quite strong. He has to carry that ego around. Oh, God. I was thinking exactly the same. <laughs> ah, well. You, you know, and then he'll just sort of cape, white cape off. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> We should have failed the game next time. He's not, he's not used to rejection. He hasn't been trying these steps. Oh, dear. Oh, funny. Did you see it, Google? Uh, Yeah, but I don't get it. So, basically, from what I can understand, is he was so certain of his, this technique that he was going to be with someone, but instead of doing that, he just upset her and probably hurt her feelings a little bit. And it's basically trying to destroy her confidence. Like, men who do that want a woman who won't say boo to a goose and is all this little frail thing because she needs a big, strong man. Right. It's easier for men to deal with in that situation. And it was fucking funny. <laughs> but look at it. <laughs> Just look, oh, God. See? Did you get it? Well, yeah, but... I mean... It looks like she's just viciously mocked him. Yes, she did. High five! Oh, God, I'm going to get a high five from Gorgor. <laughs> <laughs> and a drunk, a drunk Gorgor. Yeah, that wrist isn't going to hold up. Oh, okay. He's drunk, so it don't matter. Do you give me a high five and not kill me? Uh, I rolled an 11 on the strength, so it's pretty okay. Oh. Do I do an imposed strength check, maybe? Oh. It was just more to see how much of Gorgon, like, bitch slapped your hand. He casts sleep on your entire arm. <laughs> <laughs> but more like shatter. It high, but say, yeah, it's a high five, sleep or shatter. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Shatter. Or or disintegrate. Well, so do you return back to the table, Sir Simpington? Yeah, you... it would. So, how did it go? Well, the book doesn't seem to have uh, been for written for the this that type of woman. What type of woman then would it work on? I need to read the book to find that out, I believe. This this is just a hiccup. I need to... Uh, yes, I need to read this book a bit more, I think. I mean, it, it didn't work very well, but... Um... I didn't get slapped, so maybe I should have altered the bet originally just to be about slapping. I mean, if you if 
Well, that's, <laughs> what's the main gas of the deal? It was either you get slapped or you don't. We well, said no. adverse reaction as well, to be fair. Yes, she did. And I'm sorry I had to do that to you, but maybe it will open your eyes a little bit to understand that women don't like being insulted. Huh? Well, yeah. she didn't, but I mean, this, this is what the book says. Oh, well, I don't either. Like, if you were to come up to me and say exactly what you would say to that woman, I would not be very happy. But what the book... The book is bullshit. What book oh, is this? Cass in inside me just went, the book is never bullshit, it's a book. No. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure even Cass would make an, uh, an, an exception. Yeah. I mean, who wrote the book? Have you got a copy of the book right now? Yeah, he brings us a copy of the book. Oh, no. <laughs> Can I have a look at it? Like, is it written by Sir Simpington? Or no, it like no, it, it was written by Sir Chaddington. <laughs> <laughs> it's his eldest brother. You have the same surname. That's what I've had to like. Uh, oh. Oh, that's what he had to say. It was that bad. Oh, he had yeah. to go. Yeah. He will. Um, oh, yeah, he'll, he'll pass you the book. Read the first page very quickly. Like, is it basically like? Women need this kind oh, yeah, of thing. Exactly, it is like literally the medieval the game. I, 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 I even been thought of the title of this. It would be something like the female persuasion and how to woo them by by Andrew Tatham. We lost the DM. Oh, ugh. ugh. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. As she's in my as she's in my chat, but her internet has died. But she's in my chat. Oh, huh? hello. No idea. Oh, no. I mean, oh, there we go. Happened. I heard a loud animal screech outside in the house somewhere. So I'm assuming one of the cats like tripped on something or something. They bit the electrical wire. Oh no! I don't... Are we are we okay though? Now, Ash, are you okay? Is the animal yeah. okay? I. I don't know entirely what happened. Okay. Uh, but I will say that there's also three other people in the house. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> like, I know what it is. It's one of them likes to sleep basically right on top of the router. Mm. Which is where they shouldn't be sleeping. Probably fell or mm -hmm. something. Yeah. Fell, hit a wire. It's judged oh, the internet. Yep. Best guess. I don't know. Well, at least it hasn't killed the internet, it just judded it. Yeah. Or it could have been entirely coincidental something or other, but... Mm -hmm. but yeah, um, Sir Simpton was just explaining his book, The Female Persuasion and How to Woo Them, by Andrew Tatham. Yep. Um, maybe we could try a different approach. Like... Do you plan to use this book on Glacia herself? Oh, of course. No. So are you expecting your insulting of a, you know, princess of the hells, a infinitely powerful being, to suddenly realise that you're the man of her dreams because you hurt her feelings? <laughs> You say it like that. I, she is a, 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 a perfect creation, so I don't know if nagging would be the right way to go, but probably one of the other techniques would. Yeah, try chapter four, buddy. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we need real life data a little bit to decide on what we're going to do. And it's not like maybe I, I don't mind, you know, wing womaning a little bit. And maybe with some experience, your first meeting of Glassy will go better or worse. Or maybe you can just be friends. I mean, you know, you can be comfortable enough to allow somebody else to maybe pursue a relationship with your lady. We don't know. This is future talk, isn't it?
You said a lot there. Um... <laughs> oh, word. Yeah, it all came out. You know? Um, I mean, what other, other techniques you're talking about, are they in a book? Wait, sorry, question. <coughs> Mr. Clinton, have you ever been in a relationship before? Oh. Apart from your mom. He's not, he's not, this is not Alabama. <laughs> Wait, with my mom, is that what you were trying to say? No, with his mom. Oh, okay. Ugh. Ding, oh, ding, 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 ding. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a country law, but he ain't from Alabama. Like, it's not. No, have you ever kissed a girl before? Like, it, 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 I, I'm getting this severe experience you've got zero experience. Well, uh, do you think I'm reading the books? Oh, dearie, dearie me. Okay. I will help be your wink woman. We will get this sorted. And it, and these techniques we will use in real life situations. And, you know, maybe in time you'll realise that you don't... Uh, you, I mean, you wouldn't really upset one of your friend's feelings, would you? Would you neg on one of us? Well, no, no, it was why I was uh, curious why uh, Flynn Sai was trying to neg you as part of the party. Oh, no, I, I just think mm. Flynn Sai hates me. Oh, oh. no, nope, I don't hate you. Then what are you playing at, then? I'm just I'm talking to you. Yes, I feel like you argue about this a lot. Let's move on. Yeah. I, I like I say, I just want it to end. I, I, I don't want to go into a fifty-minute discussion about how I'm a terrible person, etc. Et you know the usual. So maybe we do it, and I mean, like we do the wing woman thing, and I'll. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You get yeah. There was a there was a range of emotions on his face for a second. Um <laughs> <I wasn't offering. laughs> you know, Oh I see, yes. Um I might as well try. I mean anything's worth a go for empirical empirical evidence before I meet my lady. Exactly. Sure. And maybe I I learn new persuasion techniques that she can use in her job. I mean she's a busy woman. What do you mean? Are you t trying to say you you could? Okay. I'm just going to leave that one till later. I think I've done enough work today. While this frustration is going on, mm -hmm. Lovey, when you turn back to your drinks, you notice there is an extra glass there. One that has an almost pitch black uh, beverage to it with a tiny red tint into it. And it smells like a mix of cinnamon, clove, Coleander and star anise. Is this anybody's drink? Did you say coriander? Yeah. It's a very interesting drink. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Anybody? Oh. Can you buy me a drink I, so. I was watching Simpington, so I didn't see who brought it. Somebody there are pull. tiny scorch marks rings along the bottom of the uh, glass on top of the table. Ah, there's like, do I get the interpretation this could be from hell? <laughs> like... Yeah, it's a little uh, warm to the touch as far as wines typically would go. Oh, and she's sweet. And then love your neck. We'll drink some of it. <laughs> Like, it's got a faint yeah. hint of uh, black licorice to it. And it's got dominate oh. person spell in it, make a wisdom save. <laughs> yeah. Look, what saving throws I have her roll are entirely private on those matters. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> I can't believe this This game, this session's gone off so far off the rails. First of all, it was digging, and then it was trying to drug. <laughs> And now it's domination. 
I don't even know anymore. Yes, I will drink my drink. And he kind of like, hmm. I think this is kind of like buying somebody a drink, I guess. Huh. A little bit of, uh, you don't seem sober enough to be dealing with this kind of nonsense. It's rightly so. Mm -hmm. And then I will proceed to get drunk. And we'll hand it over if anybody else wants to chat at this point. No, Gogo's done all he wanted to accomplish. He's he's managed to sneak something into your bag without any, anybody noticing. Or at least I hope so. <laughs> oh, that's true. Oh. Did anybody else at the table notice? Uh, what Gabriel is the only sober one. What Anyone else who was... Oh, have you not been drinking at all? Okay, fair enough. Uh, but that would be... Fairly passive roles, unless somebody was active. I mean, I guess I said, Gabriel was actively keeping an eye on Gorgor. I did get a nineteen, but yeah, Gil Gabriel was like kind of eagle eyeing me anyway. Yeah, it was. I probably wasn't paying attention to to notice, so I probably hadn't seen it. But yeah, though I do re you do realize, of course. Well, you realize Gorgor won't that your gift is now going to be attributed instead to uh, someone yeah. else. Yeah, I know. But Gogo doesn't know that. So is there anything else anyone else is doing? Nothing jumps to mind at the moment. Fair enough, fair enough. Cool. Uh, you guys do all eventually probably go to sleep? Yeah. Ooh. Presumably? Yeah. Yep. And then that's when Lovey, if you, as and when you do go to bed, you will definitely notice. Because they weren't hidden, they were just crammed in the top and then the flat put back down. And what else yeah. like that can be heavy, just liquid in general. Yeah, that's a good point. The second you picked your bag up, you'd know something was wrong. But you'd probably want to look at it in your bed when you, like in your bedroom when you've got like privacy to yeah. put it all I mean, apart and have a look. I'll do that and I'll kind of be a bit surprised. I mean, I was surprised. She would have been surprised when she first got the drink. To be honest, she's been surprised a lot tonight, and it's kind of like then immediately starts realizing how keenly she's fucked up. If that makes sense, because <laughs> now what? Like, how have I done this again? <laughs> like, this is the second time this specific. Thing has happened to me. <laughs> this is the second time you've got an arch devil to fall in love with you. Uh, it's the second time I've been in a love triangle because <laughs> I'm my great one before. Whoopsies. But I was a lord. Okay, okay. Is it really a love triangle or does Sir Simpenton look it in? I don't, I don't. <laughs> it's a love bicycle with Sir Simpenton watching. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's oh! it's, it's, it, it, I think so. it's more of a tandem with a sidecar. <laughs> I like how he's somehow still attached to this relationship in some weird voyeuristic way. Okay, well, you know he doesn't think it's voyeuristic, but like as as a as a competent logical player, I'm like it's not a love triangle. Where's the there isn't an interconnection. It's just so impotent. Oh god. And then you've obviously got poor Gorgo who just gave her a gift and then she's gonna think it's from an arch devil because she is gonna think it's from an arch devil. Yep. Okay. This can be solved another day. How is it that this is happening to me? I'm kind of too drunk to deal with the shit and then she'll just kind of like crash, if that makes sense. So she'll just get over it and go to sleep. Okay. Cool. All right, who keeps watch? Uh, what watches do you guys take? None. Zero I'm, watch. I'm, I'm awake anyway, so <laughs> I'm more than happy to take a watch. All right, roll me perception. Okie dokie, perception. Absolutely shitty tit. Okay, so uh, not that shit. That's fine. At this one point, very late in the night, you hear a cat uh, wailing and 
moaning very loudly a little bit away from the building, but through an open window. Not concerned with little pussycats. Uh, and the rest of your eight hours passes fairly eventlessly. Quite content with events. No, no events, that's fine. You were all well rested. Yeah. You all have some good sleep. You all have some good rest. Uh, you wake up a little bit hungover, but nobody is... There's no alarms or anything, so unless somebody is forcing themselves to wake up early, you can just sleep through your hangover if you so choose. Yeah, Google just wake up naturally and then just head downstairs, just as he does. Uh... Gabriel is obviously probably one of the first active people, followed probably by Flynn, just given mm -hmm. how Flynn had a much tamer night than others did. Yep. They'd both be awake if they want to be inside the tavern proper. They are. If not, they aren't. But Gorgor does wake up, kind of stumble down a little bit, half asleep. Uh, they have cleaned up a good bit. Like, what little you guys remember of last night, this place was in party shambles. And almost expertly, the place has entirely been cleaned. Uh, the one table that had the dragon head, you couldn't even point it out if you wanted to. Tables have been shuffled around a little bit. Gorgor will wait. Like, I'd imagine Gorgor's probably one of the latter people down, because he's hardly one that's yeah. purposefully punctual. And um, like he'll sit down and like food will be ordered and stuff, and he'll just be like... That was, that was good night, wasn't it? We we had drinks, we had food, and managed to save uh, Johnny to Johnny Free Cup over there. Ah uh, yes, Johnny of the Free Cups. Hey, but um, what are we? What are we? Doing now we've killed the 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 dinosaur thing because well obviously Dame Bert told me to go to the the, the city next over La Las Lasta. Oh what? Ah uh, um, well that's Wait. Okay, part... may have... yeah. Sorry. So, uh, it's it's uh, my ancestral home's like west of Luster, so we'll be going very close to home. Oh, okay. We can go and say hi to your mum. Maybe not. We'll see. Oh. Okay. Well. Well, if nothing else, we do need to go back to the mercenary camp and tell them that the people. Oh here yeah, we gotta tell them that we killed the angel. Killed the angel, and we've managed to get them, you know, some some kind of meeting set up here, hopefully. How about yeah? So mercenary people, and then last day. Mercenaries, maybe back here, then Luster. Well, we'd have to go back here anyway to go, because it, it's true. True, that's what I was just saying. Just there, back through, and then up. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Unless we get another mission that says, well, we'll see if we can't get anything in for Luster while we're there. Yeah, you see if there's anything fun to do while we're there. Maybe we can kill, like, another T-Rex or something. Or like maybe loving that angel. I can't say I've ever seen a land dragon around there. No, they supposedly come from over the mountains, past where we're going back to the mercenary sent. Well, that's what it sounded like. What the uh, the innkeeper was saying. Is it? In 
Is there anything else that anyone needs to do? Not that I can think of. Yeah, Other than looking know. for the golden nugget as I hear him well, start well, to speak well, up. Well, it wasn't the prince. No. Someone said to go to the big country to look for it. So going to like the big place that works too, yeah? Yeah. You okay, lover? You're quiet. Did you say before Lovey has staggered down from uh yeah, Oh, wait. oh I assumed Gogo was one of the last <laughs> ones, that's all. Uh, yeah, but I, I I imagine that Lovey is still like absolutely flat out, like okay, her hat's enough. halfway across the room, her hair sticking up. Do you know what I mean? Like proper sleep of the dead kind of thing. Yeah, and when she wakes up it's like that um is it tangled where she wakes up and her hair's like a fucking jungle? Yeah. Uh, it's uh, frozen. Yeah, you knew you knew the thing, the scene I was picturing when yeah. she wakes up and she looks it's fucking zombified. Yeah, that'd be a whole lot different in Tangled. Yeah. Story of Rapunzel. <laughs> That's why I said a yeah. fucking jungle because I thought I thought it was that film because I remember seeing it like fucking years ago or whatever. Yeah. It's not like a pretty wake up where the where the beautiful princess arises or whatever. It's literally like she's proper zonked out, like hasn't realised it's light outside and is just enjoying the sleep of the The damned. Yeah, I was gonna say that. <laughs> and it felt a little like, oh god. <laughs> but yeah. I'm still upstairs and then eventually I will potter down and just kind of sit. On in. Oh okay, hello. You okay? Yeah. Seem not, not like not okay. What do you mean? I I didn't drink a tremendous amount. I I just I must have needed some sleep. Mm -hmm. That was it. All right, you 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 sound and look yeah. not very well. You look like you've had a lot of sleep or not enough. Really? I then kind of realised my hair's was kind of like. Smooth it out a little bit. Okay. Is this negging? Is this what it feels like to be on the other end? You look like shit, right? No, <laughs> no, I wasn't telling you that. I was just saying. You no, you guess it did. You have to look at you have the look of someone who either has had too much sleep or not enough. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I think it's because I'm not really dopped in a while. Do you know what I mean when okay. you kind of keep going and going and going and going and you don't take a moment and then when you take a moment you're like ah oh, shit i needed that you know oh okay it's just you just didn't seem you that's why i was asking but while you were sleeping like i was saying where like things to do now we've killed the t-rex and the angel um and Flynn said, that obviously, we've got to go and tell the mercenary people that we've killed the angel. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah, yeah. we've got to go to Luster because Danebert said to go there. And that's also where maybe the Nugget is for Gabriel and mm -hmm. Dave. Really? Well, they said to go to the big city, and that was the name of the place they suggested. And Dame Bert said to go there because of all the magic people. And Simpington's from there. We can go say hi to their family. Well, not because... Like, we could be, like, parents and this apparently incredibly attractive older brother that you've got. Ah, uh, yes, Jade. No, I didn't say... I don't think I said about him being attractive. Oh, okay. I just assumed... Go meet him then. That's cool. We'd love to meet the uh, the future lord of Luster. It could be mean if we can uh, get him. Um, we'd, we'd, we'd more just like uh, a lordship, like outside Luster that looks over the southern citadel. We're not the we're not the lords of Luster. <laughs> no. Hey, part you know, upper, part of the upper class, just not yeah. too much offer. Especially if we want to branch out the mercenary guild, if we want to branch out ourselves. 
it'll be all it's always good to get in with like the hobnobby people Ooh. right i'll have to see how i feel, feel about it really wait you don't want us to meet your parents i'm more more like i don't want to see them really oh, oh. Okay. Why are they really bad? Well, they had a thing planned for me, and I didn't do the thing they had planned for me, and oh, oh. so they're not—they're angry with you. Yeah, sounds like it. Horrible. Oh well. <laughs> wow! <laughs> no, that's negging. <laughs> He was going, oh, that's really bad. I hope you're okay. And Flynn Slider just goes, oh, well. <laughs> that's <laughs> brutal. That took me by surprise, that did. <laughs> Fucking hell. Like, Bobby will kind of put his uh, hand on, like, so something in his arms and goes, don't worry, we can be there. When don't do that. Him. You'll you'll confuse him. He's never been touched. I just touched his arm, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Thinking oh out if he's God. like a baby duckling, yeah, I don't know, that'd I be think, quite funny. To be honest, I'm absolutely surprised Gorgo didn't say when he said he doesn't want to see his parents. Well, close your eyes then. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I was tempted, but I didn't. Whatever you want to do, we're here for you, right? You're like part of the team. I, I've, I've, I've got time to decide. We need to speak to these mercenaries first and then... Yep. Exactly. Shall we, gents? Let's go get right. on the road again. Well, we need to make Obviously. sure that everything's sorted with the barkeep first. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Off you go then, Flynn. Oh, yes, and I need to uh, stop renting that house. Yes, that would probably be for the best. <laughs> that would be useful. Do we need so. to do any shopping in town? I mean, I am kind of low on the gold currently. Uh, I got some. Do you need some? Uh, by some, do you mean like how much gold you got? Uh, he'll kind of just like open his coin pouch and just kind of like this much, and you will see inside. Uh, forty gold, sixty nine silver, nice, and thirty copper. No, don't worry about it, Gorgo. If I see something, maybe we can discuss it. But I think keep your money. You don't have to give it to me. If you need it. I don't need it. No. I'm... That's the best way of explaining it. I don't know anybody else, but I've never had this much money before. I'm quite astounded by it. It's a little bit less than what we had before we went on that shipping spree where you bought the cloaks and I bought the tattoo. Um, but, you know... What are you going to do, eh? Um, but, yeah, I've never had this much money before. So, of course I'm going to spend it. Maybe we should get matching tattoos. We've had this discussion, haven't we, actually? <laughs> Never mind. I don't remember, but yeah. Sorry? Google don't remember, neither do I. No. I, I know that myself and Paladin Dave currently have tattoos. Mm. Yeah. It's just something else to write on thing, and the only reason I got that was so I could write on Gabriel. <laughs> but haven't done it yet. <laughs> Um, yeah, maybe we can have a chat about it at some later stage. Maybe if we were to get like, and this is obviously <laughs> as we pay up, we're sorting our shit, you know what I mean, that kind of thing. As Lovey will start to discuss with anybody who's listening about maybe we should create a crest or a shield or something recognisable to others that they will know who what we are and then we can get a tattoo of it. And seal the deal, as it were. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't use like shields and things, okay. but yeah. I think a shield. But what would we put on it? Like, wh who are we? What are we? Uh... Other than a clusterfuck, for some reason. Well, you're all my friends. Oh, you're my friend too, Gorgo. Probably my best friend, which is saying a bit, you know. 
It's nice so, yeah. Right? Cool. Yeah. Uh, I just kind of rough his hair a little bit before going to finish up packing us stuff. It's go. all you, emotional. You, you mean you stand on the chair to rough my hair? <laughs> oh, yeah, like it's a proper, like. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I'm, I mean, I'm still a half orc. I'm not a, a dainty, you know, gnome or something. Oh, I know. So I still have some height, but I am completely gangly, weird, which a half orc rather than. Yeah. You get what I mean? Um, well, I'm a combination, aren't I? I'm a half elf, half orc. I remember completely. Re I remember this character yes. guy. Yeah. Mum was a half orc. Or no, dad was a half orc. Mum was a half elf. So you get me, Lovey, who has a very high charisma. Very <laughs> um, high. Well, it's an eighteen, which I think is high for a druid, but that might just be a stereotype. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. No, oh, most so, of had 20. Deer, is, uh, Deer was an exceptional case. Really? <laughs> okay. I'm not stereotyping. I just was... Yeah, like, I've got... I don't know what I'm going to tell my stats. Can someone else do something <laughs> and talk, please? Oi. Save me! Whilst Rose, gets very, whilst Rose gets very confused, I will head <laughs> over to the... I will travel a slight bit back in time to when I first got booted from the table to go and speak to the barkeep. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Good morning to you. Yeah. Good morning. Hope you guys slept well. Hope you guys enjoyed last night. Thank you again for uh, doing all of that. Yeah, you're welcome. I think we slept well. I think some of us slept well better than others. Uh, to the least, I'm, uh, I think we did well. Right. Yes, now. Ben? Yes. Kind of jump up, jump up onto a seat next to him. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I will happily talk to these friends of yours that you want me to speak with. Okay. At the very least, hear them out. If I like what they're selling, maybe share it around. Remember one of your lots suggesting even that they take up residence in that church just a ways from town? Those mm -hmm. runes? Like, was that... Yeah. Do you guys think that'd be a good place for them? Or... Well, I think it might be something, at least. It's a possibility. I mean, it's someplace out of the way. If the group gets a bit bigger, then we're there. You know, otherwise the church is kind of just... I mean, the ruins are just kind of sat there doing nothing. So... It's either we... Yeah, can... they're well fortified. They are... It wouldn't be a bad place, I just I wasn't sure if... Well, I think that's something to discuss between them, yourselves and them, really. we sort of uh, the middlemen in this, don't forget, so... Yes, yes, I just wanted to know, like, because in fairness, if you've been around the town at all, people do just sit down anywhere. So they're more than welcome to use that place, just nobody had used it, so it was one of those strange thoughts at the back of my mind. Well, yeah, I mean, if nothing else, they can do that and... You know, if people are needing some place, well, they can set up. Maybe they can make it, you know, defensible in case there's something happens to the sound. Or something else. So, again, that is entirely up to them. I just thought I'd uh, bring it to you. So, uh, yeah, I will... Well, we're going to be heading out soon. We'll grab our supplies and go and speak to them. We'll probably be back through in a couple of days. Uh, we'll be heading up towards Lusta. I believe it is. To the north. Yeah, that's about right. Great. Anything you can, you know of that we need to be keeping an eye out on the way? Uh, if you got purpose being there, like, I don't know the better. Like, are you going to be get? able to get in. It is a very closed off region. It is a very private region. Okay. Um, right. Well, I'm not entirely used to it. So, when you say closed off and things, what, like, they don't allow strangers in, or they have the permit, or what? Uh, there are usually not any too crazy on it, more just... 
they don't just let any riffraff wander on in. I'm sure you'll be fine if you have any connections, if you have any friends, if you have any reasons for being there. Just, I don't want you walking all the way there only to be turned away at the gate. Mm. Well, right. One of our things is the mercenary, well, it's the whole mercenary thing, so we'll try and see what that is. Otherwise... I believe we've got someone who knows someone inside the city, so that'll be something. Uh, I'm sure you're we'll fine. It was more just one of those. Felt the need to warn you, because if I didn't, I'd feel bad. If you came back here three days' time, darn, we couldn't get in. Yeah, no, I think that would be... Oh, we, we appreciate the uh, assistance. Any rumours you've heard of anything that come in, from people coming south from Luster? Anything... Any problems on the way that we need to avoid, or... That's the thing, we just haven't. Nobody coming this way, or...? They handle a lot of their agriculture internally. Oh, okay. So, the only real exports or imports are... They typically hoard knowledge, take whatever knowledge in they can... And in put... fairness, in times like these, it actually makes a bit of sense, but... Otherwise, for the rest of the country, a bunch of pricks. Yeah. Pretty. Pretty. No, no, no. Oh, our friend calls him, like... Oh, our friend over there, the... Gorgor. Uh, the Gorgor. got a friend in town. Yeah. The Gorgor. Says, uh, well, the Dainbur, the guy who lives up in the thing, says, well, said to us that, that direction. Do you think there's anything there that might be useful for us, or are we just about to, you know, walk up to the door to be told, turn around and go away? Um, if you guys have connections, if you guys have friends, you'll probably at the very least be able to get in. Mm -hmm. Uh, might be a little tricky, um, to say the least, just as far as the interactions. Like, it's... They're very isolationist, but as long as there's something to be gained, they'll likely at least listen to you long enough to find out what they can gain from you. Not in a terrible way, I feel bad saying it that way, because... They are kind of pricks, but I don't really think they're, like, bad pricks. I think they're just... You know, a country spends all of its time preparing for war, preparing for defenses, hoarding arcane knowledge, and... Oh, hey, look, a time of, uh... A time of umbral strife is upon us, and... They're nicely prepared. So at the very least, I guess all of their being pricks paid off for them, though it still rubs me a little... You know, just... Yeah, no, I fully understand. Right. They'd uh... look like pricks if they weren't, right, I think is the best I can say. Hmm. True. Well, we'll just have to see what we can do when we get close, then. We'll have to see if we can't prove our worth like we did here. Yeah, that'd be the best I could suggest, really. Okie dokie. Here's looking. Here's hoping there's another big monster to go and kill, then. Right, well, thank you for that. Uh, we'll see you in a couple... Well, is there anything else? Sorry. Oh, I did have my own question. I wanted to hear you out first, of course, but... I sure. Oh, uh, there was the mention of, like, obviously we're very much a trades town to begin with. Uh, with that be slain, hopefully whatever has been pushed out may return to its habitats, or at the very least, hopefully the roads will be a little safer. Yep. Uh, I do still have other concerns, but... Mm -hmm. Uh, if we're reestablishing... Newer tra or establishing new trade routes or reestablishing old trade routes with Copal. Uh, are there any? any? Are there any shops in particular? Like, I mean, adventurers like yourselves. Like, obviously, fruit, wine, delicacies, we are always fine with. But you mm. know, if there's any shops in particular that you fancy there, are there anyone we should get in contact with? I don't know if Flynn would think about it, but there is a certain slime girl. That... Oh no, no, Flynn is completely thinking like, right, 
Well, there is a girl. Well, there is uh, somebody we met on the way who was hoping to set up their own little uh, adventures and magic store. You might want to uh, get in contact with her. Um, I could probably give them a list. I can probably give them a list of the couple of people that we spoke to whilst we were there, mm. so they can start setting up some connections. But you've got a couple of black. You've got a couple of decent blacksmiths there. We're making stuff if we need any that work there, and just kind of go down the list of the people we we met. Like, uh, these are good people. You might want to speak to them. Is there anything in uh, anything you feel that you would need to speak to them about? See if I can point you in that right way. I mean, we're fairly well established here. A lot of these are small stalls where people just either import their goods from other shops or, you know, have their goods made here. So we do have a pretty healthy, robust situation going on here anyway. But, you know, you don't become the best by being complacent. Always does good to have new connections, make new friends, especially if, uh, you know, if we're friends and you have friends. Yeah. Like I say, have make you set you up with those people. Those would be the ones that you talk to if you're getting uh, more of the adventurer or mercenary types coming through. Mm. Those are the source that they might be looking into getting if you want to uh, start ordering ahead, perhaps. Or some sort of outreach. That's what I would kind of say is the best thing for you. Yes, that's, that's wise. That's a good plan. Uh, I do have one gift for you before you go as well. Uh, be careful with it, be safe with it, but maybe hold on to it for emergencies. Of course. And he slides a strange-looking egg kind of rock over to your hand. Okay, now you take it and kind of just slide it across. If you ever do find that, uh powerful age that's causing problems and burning down villages. This should at the very least help you get the edge. Sorts out any shorts out any spells that are active in the uh, vicinity. Oh. Well, it, it turns off all magic in a certain radius. Uh, more of the continuous stuff. If they've already blasted you with a fireball, it might be a little too late, but friends are ever charmed. They're trying to do something a bit more problematic, raising undead, whatever it might be. Oh, yeah, that is useful. Um, do I need to do something to make it start working, or is it going to affect me just carrying it? Uh, it is a one-time use. You've just got to throw it. Okay, throw it at the magic, and the magic will be solved. It's the simplest way I could really uh, think to put it. Won't work on anything a, too, too high-end, but should solve you in uh, sort of a, any problematic situations. Rock and the magic is gone? Uh, yeah. I am really up with that, that I didn't hear any giggles from that one. Yeah, you even said the word egg. Liam wasn't here. I just yeah, come I back. Know. I got ice cream. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He's got ice cream. <laughs> I was kind of going... Got... I was kind of going going for more for a, a, an old uh, an English Hang in the dirt is gone. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yep. I, I got I got what you were picking putting down but it, it was a bit too stretchy for me. Yeah, well. Hi. I I appreciate the I appreciate the attempt though. Yes. Hang on. Just just saw the 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 text for that come up and then my screen went dark so it's like ah oh, you. Uh, very useful. I thank you for this, and we will keep it safe for emergencies. Good fortune to you, and we'll see you again in a few days when we get back in. Yes, safe travels. Yes. Thought I should gone then. <laughs> so, I was like, I like speaking in. Okay. So yeah, kind of reach across, shake his hand, and then uh, go back to the table as I probably see people start getting ready to get themselves sorted. Yeah. Just general <laughs> conversation from Gorgor and stuff is just having breakfast while you're sorting yourself, and then we get ready to leave. Yep, so you guys grouped up, headed out. 
Hmm? Yep, grab your stuff and let's go. I presume Simpleton needs to pay uh, needs to pay off his rent. Uh, they waived any other outstanding fees with the, the head of the land dragon. That's uh that's a good way of getting rid of your debt. Well, it was just like a few nights rest, a few nights drinks. Mm -hmm. So, are we leaving then? Mercenary, play well, mercenary encampment it is. Alright, party Thank heads you. out, heading roughly northeast. Yep. Yeah. Back in the way where we know the camp is. Yeah. Yep. And as long as you guys push hard, you can probably make it there by nightfall. Because you guys do wake up relatively fairly early. Mm -hmm. It's like 10 to 12 hours walking, a little bit of a stress, but if you don't mind being exhausted for like the evening, you're fine. Yeah. Good brisk walk. Get us there quicker. Keep an eye out while we travel, make sure we don't uh Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll help you. Yeah. If Thank you sure. guys are going at a brisk pace, I do believe Sir Simpington's gonna be the only one not at disadvantage for keeping a lookout. Well, or you two can work together for a flat roll. Yep, that's what I was getting. A very solid flat roll. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, you do notice the occasional stray. Uh, reptilian beasts of large size, but they're fairly far off. They're fairly uh, herbivore-esque for the most part. You stay away from anything that might be like indirect tracks of just like, oh, this looks like a place where prey might be. Prey hunts predators, so we're just going to kind of go around, you know? Okay. That's, I've well, never heard it that way around before. <laughs> well, it's just instead of you guys are being clever enough, instead of just trying to avoid the predators yeah. themselves, it's like, oh, well, we can't see the predators, Yeah, but we can no. see the prey. No, we got that. It was the fact yeah. that you said prey hunts predators, and we were yeah. like... Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I've never heard it that way before. Or it's hard. I talk a lot. Uh, that's it. It's fine. It's like, it, it's like oh, it's Pac-Man rules now. <laughs> but no, no, just, yeah. Keeping an eye out for just like, oh, hey, yeah, like, here are common prey locations. Let's go around them so the predators that might hunt the prey don't accidentally hunt us kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Uh, just staying out of the obvious places, staying out of the easy kill zone locations. Uh, hammering a bit of a road as you go, just like you guys have taken this trail back and forth like with little bits of twists and turns to it multiple times in the last like, week at this point. Uh, but evening would arrive. You would arrive back at the mercenary camp fairly late in the evening. Um, and yeah, you guys do make a bit winded, a bit exhausted, limping a little bit from just dragging yourselves the last little bit of the way. But as you arrive, you see, you know, multiple open fires, a few places to sit. Uh, a couple of the guards, one of them recognizes you and gives a little bit of a, just kind of like a wave and a motion to the other guard to just not worry about it. Mm -hmm. Evening. Hey, welcome back, guys. How have you been? You good? We're good. We're good. We, uh, we did a couple of things over in, uh, in town. We thought we'd, uh, Check in, report in, make sure everything's good. Mm. So, uh, good time to talk with the boss, or we better wait until morning? Uh, I mean, you guys look a bit knackered. Uh, you could go talk to the boss now if you wanted, or you could just sit, rest a little bit, and catch your breath at the very least. Doesn't have to be until morning, but at the very least, I wouldn't go in there exhausted and sweating.
So yeah, we'll just put, well, as long as the message is passed along that we're here, we want, we want we, we could do with a chat in the morning. Otherwise, yeah. I think we're all good for pick yourselves up in some corner. That's okay. Round a fire. Yeah, you guys go pick a fire, get comfortable. Uh, maybe the boss will come down tonight. Maybe tomorrow morning. Either way, just take the boat off. Cheers, thank you, Phil. Okay, so we're staying the night here then? Yep. Okay. Well, I'm place to set up. We've got some nice wall protectors. You know, meet the mercenary, well, meet the leader in the morning. And we can head back out, back towards town, rest of town for the night, and then uh, be on the way up to Luster, I think. Well, oh, um, Simpington? Yes? Um, can you think of a good reason why we need to be in the city other than to meet your parents? Uh... Well, to be honest, I, I people were mentioning about going there. I, I, I wasn't the one directing this. True. However, you're from the city, and if we don't have a good reason, they ain't gonna let us in. Is what I, what I found out. Hmm. Well, I'm sure maybe we could concoct one, or if I do have to go see my family, maybe they could help us. Yeah, might be able to. Because I wasn't trying to put you on the spot. I was just hoping that if you did want to avoid your family, you know, we had another reason not to drop your name. Uh, if it's if if we need a reason, if we need authority to get get in, then uh, we we can, we can go and see. Well, we'll see what we can do. Well, maybe this lot will have a job already there, or something, or something we can set we can some reason. Other than that, I think we should uh, get on rest and go and see him in the, go and see the leaders in the morning. Unless they decide to come visit us. Are we uh uh, you guys do have a little bit of a rest uh, in the late, late evening. Mm -hmm. uh, you do eventually get the big man making his way over at the very least. Just kind of sit down next to the fire, grabbing a cup himself. Mm -hmm. So, how have the travels been? Oh, well, it went well. It went well. We've uh, managed to deal with the uh, with the job in the town. Good, good. And we should get ourselves a little bit of a second one. What doing that may have opened the door for what we were talking about a meeting between you lot and some of their leadership, possibly setting up a connection with the stick with the town. That's what we like to hear. Maybe we could make things a little simpler, a little bit more localized. Mm. Would lower the cost on uh, dispatching people. Also, there might be a little bit of time where you can get through the mountains a little easier if you want to start heading towards Corporation as well. Um, the, as they put it, the Land Dragon, we dealt with that for, well, for them. Ah, oh, yeah, the thing had gotten a couple of our boys. We weren't entirely sure what it was getting them, but... Well, well we've heard different names. They call it a Land Dragon. I've heard, well, someone in our groups called it a Dire T-Rex. Big lizard. Yeah, yeah. I think here anything that's big enough, mean enough, and scaled ends up a dragon. Because, in all honesty, even if it's not a dragon, it's a dragon. Yeah. We managed to kill it. over large teeth, large beast, scales. Well, we managed to kill it. and Yeah. And then we took its head back so they could keep it as trophy. That's very nice. That's very nice. Use that. So if you want to try and start sorting something out that, about that, um, if you want to start thinking about, they're also thinking about starting to uh, increase some, like, make work on trade caravans between themselves and corporation. So uh, 
you you've got some boys that think they might be able to help with uh, some caravan duty. I like that idea. I like that idea. Um, also, just as an idea to consider, where we ended up fighting the angel was um, of like a ruined church, not far outside of the the city. Looked a bit of a reasonable defensive area. If you thought about that, might be a place that you might want to have a look into to maybe set up at. That might be a superstitious slot, but I think that'd be if it's got good stone dirty stone walls still standing. Really? Some, but the, but the ones right there, the stone can be, I think they could be able to be used as stone. And those places always have secret tunnels and secret basements underneath. Yep. That'd be perfect. Do that, just don't disturb the dead too much. Possibly get someone in who's a little bit more priesty to make sure it's uh, all good. Yeah, yeah, that's that's definitely a good plan. Just in general, we'll probably keep people out of there, but it's it's good to know those exist, you know? Like, yep. I thought it'd be best if you just had uh, as much information we can get, yeah. See, uh, I knew there was something good about you boys. Yep. I do gesture over towards Lovey when he says that. Hmm. And go. Ah, Lovie. yes, just Group is general. Oh, yes, I figured, but I just wanted to make sure before one of us got told otherwise. <laughs> but no. Yeah, so I thought I'd get a... Yeah, so we've got that. Angel sorted. Um, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll probably... We need to go up there and speak with you, a lot of you tomorrow, or... Like, official conversation, or what? I mean, depends on the mood. If you guys want to have something official, we can have something official. If you just want to chat for a little bit, uh, we just want to make sure that we're all on the same page. Well, I'll be heading to well, we'll be heading towards Luster afterwards. So, and if you've got anything in that direction you want us to start, maybe making moves towards. A little bit, a little bit. Uh. Being bond on this one. Yep. There's no big problem there that we know that you can go solve because we don't really know much about anything over there, but yep. if you guys may end up making any friends, making any patrons, yep, if seeing... you helped anyone out any, uh, yep. we would very much appreciate at the very least an audience with because... We're certain if and when we are uh, big enough and uh, intimidating enough, they will probably at the very least want to have us at a dining table for a me meeting, uh -huh. but we'd prefer to meet them on much more polite terms and less uh, they view us as a threat terms. Yep. Well, like I say, we'll go in. We, we can get in. We'll try and get inside and spread the good word. You lot decided to come up with a name yet other than the mercenary group. Yes, just if, if you got us in there, especially if, uh, now again, it's it's going to take us a while to set up anything, but... Yeah, no, well, you've got that, and you've got some uh, a somewhat letter of recommendation should grant you an audience with uh, people in cooperation as well. Very yeah, nice, very nice. Good. I think I think well, we've got that mostly sorted for the moment. So get that sorted. But we need to speak to you about the. Now I'm trying to remember. There was a discussion about actually getting paid for this angel job, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we probably need to speak to you tomorrow about the uh, money for the job. Well. Uh, for the meantime, I think everyone could do with a good rest, and we'll... Yeah, you guys were trying to haggle, and they just threw money at you instead. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll take the, uh... So yeah, we'll do that, and if there's anything else you can think of for while we're, uh... during the night, I'm glad to hear you out in the morning. Anybody else Absolutely. think of anything? I kind of look around the rest of the group who's just sat there. 
Fully either tired or gazing into the fire. I'm gazing into the fire because that sounds interesting. Gorgor is oh. gazing into the fire, but it also looks very menacing considering what the threat, the accusations were. Also, given the fact, or is anybody staring over at the fishy in the well? No. <laughs> Nobody cares about the. Nobody. I second that. No one cares. Mm -hmm. I can't believe I'm agreeing with Gorgor, but yeah. <laughs> I'd say Gorgor and Danny bled into one then. <laughs> Yay. Beautiful. Yep. So I don't think anybody else has anything they wish to add to this conversation, so... Nope. Yeah, you guys get some sleep. We'll get you uh, paid up in the morning. Mm -hmm. And we can discuss next steps then. It sounds perfect. That's good. All right, you guys get some sleep. You guys get some rest around the campfire. Mm -hmm. Does anything exciting happen during the night while we're resting, or are we a okay? Uh, yeah, you hear some of the uh, other mercenaries celebrating. Apparently, one of them caught a fish in the well and threw it into the fire, so they're eating good tonight. Yes. Uh, the fishy. Uh, the fishy. Uh, they don't know how the fish got in the well. They actually find it a bit strange that the fish just mysteriously, like, they thought it was a pretty clean source of water. In fact, there's a fish in there. How's that a little concerned? But they're more busy celebrating the fact that they caught some, you know, change of food that's not just, like, trail rations, jerky. Yeah. And, like... See, somebody cared about the fishy in the well. <laughs> <laughs> Morning rounds quick enough. Yep. And, uh, so you know, I, big guy I, comes back down again carrying yeah. a fairly sizable sack of golds. But... Sorry, I got very confused when you said that then. He's like, Morning Rose soon enough. And I was like, hang on, you're saying Morning to Rose? Is she back? <laughs> or... I was like, what? <laughs> No, unfortunately. No. So yes, it comes back, sack of gold. Uh and it gives you a bit of wave. Looks you guys over. Alright, so I've got your uh, gift here and I've got some uh, fun news to go with it. Uh oh. That's good. Uh I take it you guys are heading back to uh Aylesbury to stock up in rations and stuff before you head on over to uh Luster. Mm -hmm. I'm going with you half you guys I'm going with you guys half the trip. Okie dokie. Well, I want to scout out this place you guys have pointed out. I'm gonna bring some friends, maybe uh get those caravans up and running as quick as we can. Just kinda of get in on the ground floor. That's good. Uh inside Jack. Yeah. Cause I would like to know very much that I've not just built this thing for him to then uh I mean, you probably have just made it. Because, like, d didn't you hear the, the, the careful choice of wording of when they're intimidating enough to force a meeting? Oh, yeah. In, you, you know. Yeah, I know. That was very and also, they don't want to do that. They want to be... It's more of just, like, if a mercenary camp got big enough, eventually, like, the local king was like, huh, we like being powerful and in control. Those people are not under our control and are powerful enough to usurp us, even if they're benevolent. If we're not benevolent, we could still, you know, benevolent, we could still be, uh... So, when he's saying big enough and intimidating enough, they actually mean, you know, like, so that they pay attention rather than they just... They yeah, they're not flex. trying to flex in the general direction of, but, like, hypothetically, just if they were a successful business... Other businesses would it's be like, just, uh oh. It was just a very curious choice yeah. of wording, that was all, that yeah. I noticed. Mm -hmm. yeah. But no, like, uh, at the very least, surface level baseline, 
his intentions are very much go with you, check out the spot, set up the spot, bring some of their caravan, you know, bring some of their merc mercs with them. Mm -hmm. And hey, uh, you want to get those trade routes up and running? We're just going to volunteer to get those trade routes up and running for you. You know, just kind of embed themselves into the gears, so to speak. Yep. Like, so this, yeah, it, it sounds legitimate, not like they're about to say, you know, like, oh yeah, we're going to help with those trade caravans, yoink. Oh no, they're not going to like, no, no, they're not going to just topple the trade caravans and steal them all. They're very much just going to go the very legal, very blunt way of, if we lay the groundwork, if we build the infrastructure, yep. you can't, you know, it's a lot harder to remove those cogs after the fact than to add a cog after the fact. It's, yep. it's like, oh yeah, you have caravans up and running, do you need guards, maybe once or twice? Okay, you know, versus then we're we, in charge of you, guarding you guys. We, yep. you know, yep, that's fine. So yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah. and you know, what you make good or bad of them wanting to do that—that that is on you. But that's mm. very much their intentions are just, yeah, we're yeah. gonna go with. I'm gonna bring like two squads of dudes. Mm -hmm. Just get nice and cozy. Let well, me we see what you can set up, and uh, yeah, have, have a gavvy with us. Yeah, other than that... I mean, um, otherwise, like, we could go without you if you prefer. We're just no, gonna no. awkwardly be going the same direction either way. No, I agree. More the merrier. I just didn't want to, uh... want to make sure everybody's ready to go, really. Mm. Yeah, alright. Uh, well, you know, I woke them up at the, uh, crack of dawn, so... We're ready to go whenever you guys are. Here's your payment for, uh, this and maybe future endeavors. Thank you. And they hand you a sack of 1,000 platinum. Oh. Hey. Fuck. Okay. I was waiting for that in between, like, what do you mean a thousand? No, I kind of was like, I heard a thousand, I'm like, oh, and I was waiting for the 400, 600, do you know what I mean? I was waiting for the... <laughs> I was waiting for the rest of the the, the, the <laughs> sentence, and then when you said platinum, it was like, oh, because I was because when you said a thousand, I was like, oh, and then I was expecting the eight hundred, and then like, oh, and then twenty, oh, you know what I mean? I was expecting that. Yeah. yeah. See, I, I'm I'm here miming being handed this this thing of uh, coins, and I was expecting like the number to keep increasing, and it's like, oh no, small little flinch is going to drop. I'm going Basically down. more weight from this, and then suddenly it's platinum, and no, the coin bag stays where it is, it's his draw jaw that dropped. Yeah, that's, um... Good chunk. Yeah. Um... Well, work's been good. Uh, corporations been in need of just some help with their infrastructure. Mm -hmm. We've been very helpful with them. Uh, you know, World's a dangerous place. People like keeping it safe. And we're some of those people that like keeping it safe, too. That's good. Uh, obviously not going to say we can afford to be benevolent with it, but after the work you've done for us and uh, hopefully future work you may do for us, uh, we want to make sure that you guys are well invested in, you know? I think we definitely feel well invested. Yeah. In there. So we'll get ourselves. Gorgor will down. happily billow many fashions. Alright, Gorgor, roll me 2d20. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's, okay. It's, it's like, for that moment, I feel like I'm going, like, I see the, the, the billow for a moment, and there's that <laughs> back of my mind whether or not I need to go and grab that egg. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> You could just you could just anti whatever bullshit's about to happen. Flame wait, just wait. deck saving throw throw the egg at Korokor. That's why the barkeep gave it you. Not for anything you may encounter, but for me. <laughs> got it. Yeah, I basically got yeah, it's one of those moments of just like, oh no, he's about to supernova magic quick, you throw the black hole in <laughs> to counter. Ah, phew. Uh Damn it. Uh, but yeah, they're good to set up camp. Uh, I will like timestamp here. If Rose gets back and goes, "Oh, I wanted to talk to someone and incite someone and whatever," yeah, she is no, more than welcome to. Otherwise, yeah, uh, that's fair. You guys, head back out. <laughs> back out we go.
Yeah. yeah. Hard days travel, though this time you guys have got like twice as many people to chat you up and keep you company at the very least. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to worry too much about watches and stuff. It's uh, just a nice, clean, organized militia at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so given the fact that we can get away with not keeping an eye out, Gorgor will take full advantage of that. And, you know, this is more of like a, a chilled out war. I'm still going to assist whoever is with us keeping an yeah, eye out. So. Yeah, that's that's a very telling difference in mentality. Uh, you do still at the very least, because you guys have been traveling this road a lot lately. You do at the very least give the couple occasional, yeah. like, oh, hey, remember, go around this tree. It's actually a lot nicer this way. Uh, that hill gets a little awkwardly steep. Uh, mm -hmm. This, is, this is, about to say, this is prime hunting area. Yeah. Like, you know, things hunting you, not you the... ah. <laughs> yeah, just we found a carcass over here, which means something likes to hunt over here, so maybe go a little wide. Yep. And you kind of give the more natural, like, walk around, like, instead of just taking a single straight line, it's just take a couple little safe curves left and right kind of thing. Give you a little bit of extra space, give you a little extra comfort. Yep. Help them est you... est yeah, establish what would basically become their travel route. Yeah, pretty much. Rose, welcome back. Um, welcome back, Rose. There has been established timestamp for if you would like to, um, do things. Uh, no, for continuity's sake, I'm chill. All right. Okay. Yeah, Flynn just mm -hmm. met with the second in command a couple times, night before, morning after. Got paid pretty yeah. handsomely. A uh, pretty handsomely. One thousand platinum. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that was the same thing if we were just like hang on, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's 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 a it's a nice little petty cash box. Yeah, this is happen when you get in bed with corporations. No, 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 we're, no, we're not in bed with corporations. I mean <laughs> Wait, if if this is what happens when we get in bed with corporations, why don't we do this every day? This sounds amazing. Oh, Danny, and you went, no! You could have 300 gold and like it and lump it! <laughs> I do like the end of affairs with platinum, though. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm, presume, I'm, say, I'm presuming that's a split between the group, no party fund? I don't know. It's whatever people um, end up deciding and wanting. Like, Gorgor's not really going to have too much of a say because he doesn't oh, really yeah. care. Or Compare with with other parties like that we played in. I don't think a party fund is this party's jam. Does that make okay. sense? Mm -hmm. I think we can we can make a party fund independent day look after. No, I'm sorry, what does that mean? That was very. Uh, still no. no. Okay. Make, a make a party fund independent day look after. Uh no. I don't Aww. understand in what universe you're thinking, Liam, where that would be allowed. Paladin Dave's oh. universe. Right. <laughs> you need to get universe some Paladin Dave's? So we can play um, <laughs> Party Treasurer, you know? <laughs> Liam? Maybe. We just make him do like one of those like math games to prove that he could be Treasurer. Like, make that one of his streams. Mm -hmm. uh, Liam plays Math Blasters 5. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that would be yeah. interesting. Disastrous. If he beats the game, he gets to be party treasurer. Okay, so that's 166 platinum, 6 um, gold, 6, six gold, 66. Oh, yeah, 66. Uh, yeah, it's one. It's one of those things. I like. It's mass. It's the conversion is not going to be fun. I'm just gonna just take it as sixty six gold, six um silver, like six copper. Do you know what I mean? I think that's probably just gonna be for the sake of mental gymnastics. I'm not gonna worry about like the odd copper going missing here and there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm gonna take the PP. What's the platinum? 
166 yeah. platinum, 66 yeah. gold, 6 silver, 6 copper is how I've done it. Just cool. for the Bravo. sake of, rather than being super correct, I'd rather just take the easy route and just, yes, we've lost a bit of money, but oh well. Do you know what I mean? It's Comparatively. Comparative, yeah. Got... Yeah. We what? just got a shit ton. The couple of yeah. gold that we've lost out because of the reoccurringness of the division is nothing compared to what we've just gained, so meh, tough, whatever. Have we um, given some of this to... I'm guessing it's just between the six of us, right? Yep. Cool. Yeah. I just didn't want, you know, Paladin Day claiming two funds so he could give one to um, Cleric down when he gets back or some bullshit. Nope. No, he's wasn't, gone. Wait, wasn't, wasn't to, wait, we're not do, wait, we're not doing that? Nope. Oh. Wasn't here to do the work, didn't get paid for it. Fair mm. enough. He is doing very important work for his church that he's probably being paid for. Yes. Maybe, hopefully. Probably not. If he's currently listening in on the, uh, the Twitch stream, you should have been here to play. You don't <laughs> got a slice. Yes, you guys eventually do make your way back to town. Nice and comfortably. Mm -hmm. uh, on the way, do you guys stop on the outskirts of town to point out the church, or you can do that like after you've gotten in and dropped off your books and stuff? I mean, uh, if it's easier so. to do it on the way in, then fuck it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, might as well just kind of just show them. Yeah. Alright, uh, he gives it a cursory glance, like motions to, like, one of his men to just go, like, have a more thorough look as the rest of them just tag along with you. Because, like, they've been to the town before, but, you know, still just looking over. Yeah, yeah a couple of his men go off, scout the ruins a little bit, have a look around. Um, everyone else just kind of makes their way with you back into Aylesbury proper. All right, uh, I think this is where we part ways. Point us in the direction of whatever authority is in charge. That wish you be... all on your journeys. Maybe oh. get some rest before you head out too. Yep, that's what we'll be doing. Um, authorities and a place to rest are in the same location. And they point towards the tavern. It's ah, fair enough. The barkeep. Barkeep is the somewhat mayorish of this town, so he's the one that we've been speaking to and organizing. So. Yeah, I've heard some uh, tales of him. He's had quite a life, it sounds. Mm -hmm. It's what we heard. It's why we thought it'd be best to speak to him. So, go on, we'll meet, we'll get you all set up and introduced, and then you can have your meeting and everything sorted out whenever you want. Good enough. Mm -hmm. Let's go get some drink. And does leave like most of his posse at the very least outside, so it's not just walking in with mm. like six other friends of his and kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, kind of just go over to the the innkeep. Ah, welcome back. Uh, welcome back. How have you been? I've been Hope good. Your journey fared you well. Uh, it seems to fare us quite well indeed. I'd like to uh, introduce you to. My companion here, the one that we were, one of the ones we were talking about. Ah, he pours out uh, two tall glasses of beer, slides one over to you, slides one over to him. Thank you. So I thought uh, I'll introduce you two, do that. Maybe get something sorted so his men aren't stood outside because they don't look like a uh, an invading army when they come in. Uh, yes, just good at the very least that it wasn't just, you know, 10 plus heavily armed people storming in the front door. Like, I mean, I know you all, of course, anyway, but mm -hmm. good to keep them outside. Um, they can come in and have some drinks, just don't all come in together and maybe look a little bit less intimidating. I don't know. Oh, let's all some lean out. But yeah, so on blue night, uh, 
some meaning here for introductions, or should I go back to babysitting this lot? Who have probably already gone back to their usual table. Yeah. I mean, we've at the very least, like, met before, but there's a difference between meeting and speaking business. Um, if you have anything you want to give on either's behalf, feel free. Otherwise, I think we can just talk business at this point. Because a lot of it is, it's not really like they need a permit or anything. It's very much just introductions more so. Yeah, introductions, get you two talking, make sure everything starts going good. Maybe get something working between the two of you, but otherwise, yeah. I'll uh, I'll go and help the uh, the lot outside make their way in, non-threateningly, and uh, yeah, and to uh, prosperous meet prosperous future meetings. Very much indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, I will take the ale and I will again help the rest of the guys come in without looking threatening. Yeah. Like, they're not too, too terrible, just, you know, like, your party plus their party off from a hard day's travel of adventuring gear kind of thing. Yeah. Like, I guess through the front door walked 20 heavily armed people. Hmm. I mean, it's fine, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, should be. It's just only 20. It's not that much. Mm -hmm. Yes, but it's, you know, however so many regular mercenaries, then us a lot. Yeah. Uh, so, yep, yeah, I'll get them them in, settled, sorted. Yeah, they just, once they're in, they just go sit at a tavern, or they go sit at a table and just commence their own nice drinking. Very similar to you guys, though a bit more liberal across and a bit more homogenized across. That's good. You know, try and breed a little bit of uh, yeah. goodwill between Run. them and us. So we can make sure that the other two, the, you know, the other two that want to get the scout do come back. They do eventually. Uh, they take a minute, obviously. I'm just being served. Don't interrupt. Well, thank you for over. the raid. It is appreciated. Yeah, my, my oh, main fear is we were going to pull dead by daylight. Went well. The angel and these two I dead. did just see your. Letting the guy get the hatch after three DCs yeah. actually was just uh, looked over for a little bit. Thank yeah, you. I mean, you know, uh, they eventually come back. Yeah, that's fine. Um, just we've had a raid, by the way, guys. I'll say, say oh. hi. Hi. Hey, raiders. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hey. Oh, God, it's a raid. Yeah, thrifty dolls came by. Um, after playing some demo daylight, I've just muted to say hi, but I thought I'd let you guys know as well. Okay. Good. Yep. As you Otherwise, were. I'll go up. As you were. Yep. Oh. So, yes. Well, I will hopefully get all that sorted, stop hugging the, the spotlight, and uh, allow everyone to settle back in. Does anybody else, anything, anybody else want to do whilst we were back in town before we head out again? Now that we have money. Uh... Oh, tempted. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'll just keep my money until we get, like, another, like, cool person that's selling, like, all magic things, because I have. Hmm. Or buy more, like, time travel wine or something. Oh, yeah, on the topic of wine, I've got two bottles of it. It just appeared, like, in my bag. Yesterday. Not yesterday. Last time we were in the tavern. So two days ago. Two, about to say, two oh. nights ago. Oh yeah. Yeah, two bottles of it. I mean, that's cool. Can I, can I insight yeah, Gorgor sure. on that one? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. <Wait>, what? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> he beat my uh, exemption there. <laughs> Shit. Or well, uh, do you know? Like, did you like not buy them and not not realize or anything? No, they weren't in my bag, and then they were in my bag. Oh, oh, that's weird. 
Very oh. weird. That must be a nice gift that someone got you. Well, that's what I was hoping. What I was not hoping was that it was some sort of way to try and poison me for some reason. Well... Yes. Why would someone be trying to poison you? I wasn't saying that somebody was trying to poison me. I said if somebody was trying to poison me. You are concerned about being poisoned, then? No! Oh my god! I mean... Well, I that's mean, what you're saying. I mean, you literally the... brought up poison and then go, no, no, I didn't mean anything about poison at all. I mean... Exactly, so you're saying it. Show us the bottle. I'll show the bottles, whilst also glaring daggers at Flynn. Oh, it looks fine I, to I, me. I... It, like, look, the lid's still on, so it's it looks fine. Just looks like some anyway, wine. This is... What I mean is I assume it's a gift. I was making an offhand comment. Maybe I shouldn't make those anymore. But yeah. That's chapter it, six of Ben's... Uh, of Simpson's book when they give up making their own comments and thoughts. <laughs> it's working. <yeah. laughs> the hegging's working. Yeah. Nobby has a problem with him when he's constantly judging her speech. Yes, wears out her spirit. Uh. <laughs> well, no, they look like just really nice bottles of wine. Yeah, it must be a gift from Glacia, I guess. Oh, okay. Why um, would she be getting you a gift of wine? Uh... Who uh, else would magically make wine appear in my bag after making uh, it appear on the table? I've heard about somebody doing that before. I was Sorry? thinking was I heard somebody about doing that before, making wine out of nothing. Shut the fuck up. I think up, his name was uh, Jeebus, <laughs> I think. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> For fuck's sake, Liam. That's it. <laughs> Sure, just seeing that one for me. Uh, I, the second he started speaking, I knew exactly yeah. where he was going with it. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah. I was about to say, mentally, you get the things like, or you could just look at the somewhat disguised look on Gorgor's face to see who got you it. Yeah. Oh. I mean, whoever did get it for me has got to know I'm very glad that they got me a gift and that they must be a very kind person and it's very sweet and I wish that they would tell me who they are so I can thank them properly you know face to face but I guess we won't know huh? Men mentally to go go now is a good you know now is a good <laughs> time to own up well, 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 well I mean hey baby it was These for me, Google. You got upset when we were drinking it last time, and you I felt bad, so I went and got some more. Oh, that's very kind of you. Honestly, it was fine. It was just more so. I think it was the fact because I said I didn't want to share spit with you guys, and then you carried on doing it. It's like you didn't listen to me. Not that you actually. Does that make sense? It wasn't the actual act of doing it, it was the fact that you kind of ignored my well wishes because you knew better. But you only said it after the fact, after I drank and then got upset. Yeah, because you didn't listen to me and then told me that my opinion on the matter was completely wrong. No, you said I spat in the bottle and I didn't. Okay. Google, you know when someone tells you that you're not a wizard and you get really upset by that? Yeah. And you say, no, I'm not a wizard, and they keep telling you that you're a wizard and you have very different opinions, it can be a bit upsetting, can't it, sometimes? Right. How, so how did they say he's a wizard? 
I must say, I so want to point out I, that she I, got it the wrong way I, around. I wasn't. I, I heard it. I just wasn't going to say. <laughs> I was letting that one go, but yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> carry on, Rose. You, what it was, you accidentally said, "If people tell you, a you tell you you're a wizard, and you say I'm not, but it's fine, just carry." Uh, I was going to ignore it. I was going to let it go. Say so you're not a wizard, but you are. A yeah, sorry. It's oh no, right. I was going for your wizard gorgo. I didn't like crying. No, I'm fucking not. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not. I'm not a wizard. You're a wizard gorgo. Uh, wizard, a real boy. I think all it is is just what well, whatever it is. It's very kind of you to give me a gift in recompense. In what? Recompense. Thanks. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sorry, sometimes I don't realise I'm speaking poshly, you know, or posh-like. It, oh. It's okay. But, no, I, 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 I nearly... I mean, the, the lady in the shop wouldn't sell on me at first. It was actually Gabriel that kind of helped me because... She was telling me no because she thought I was going to drink it all. I told her no, I wasn't going to drink it. Gabriel managed to, to sway her so I could have it. And, and I, gave, I, I, gave, I, I gave it your bag a, 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 a couple of days ago. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm sorry I didn't realise it was you beforehand, Gorgor. It's okay. I, I hid it in there on purpose. What do you say that because tonight, before we set off, we have a little drink and I'll get some glasses. We can share it. I mean, that would make the travel very quick. Yeah. It is time travel, why? Yeah, let's do it. What about you, Sir Sinton? Will you join us? Paladin Dave? Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, I, yeah. I, I can't. I can't say I've heard of this drink before, so I'll be interested to try it. It's how I found you. We just drink us off with my boy. It was. It actually. Oh. No, it actually was. It actually was. It's how yeah, we. It's how we. It's how we lost Dave and gained Simpington. <laughs> well, you get another paladin now. Oh God! Drink Someone <laughs> else is going to leave the party and get replaced with the fucking paladin. <laughs> Yeah. They just reproduce. It's like asymptomatic cells. They go split off, and they're just more paladins. Just every time every we time drink, they took the wine. every time we yes. drink this wine, one non-paladin character leaves the party and gets replaced with a paladin. It's like an inverted <laughs> drinking game. You drink, and then something happens. Not something happens, and you drink. Fucking yeah. hell, that's. Yeah. But no, yeah, like Liam, I actually had forgotten that is how Dave met Simpington. Because yeah. of the time travel wine. Because you, me and you drank half a bottle each. Yeah, that's how I got eggs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Thank God you finished that sentence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just realised that I had to carry on a little bit more. <laughs> so I will request off the barkeep enough glasses for everybody, please. DM? Yeah, um, easy enough. Let's drink! Woo! Yes. And and as Lovey goes to the bar to get drinks, Gorgor's gonna kind of like bump Flynn on the shoulder, like, "Why did you make? Why did you tell me to tell her? I was trying to keep it like a real something." Because she was thinking it was from someone else, and that's not fair to you. Oh, somebody else was stealing your work. They weren't trying to, but. They were going to get the credit for something for the nice thing you were doing. Oh. Oh well. Andre, you're doing a nice thing. You should get the recognition for it. I was only getting it, like, to replace the one that she said we could have. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I got two, but that was because they had, like, you buy two, it was cheaper. I think. So. <laughs> Everyone who will be partaking in this wine, constitution saving throw at disadvantage. Yeah, I don't, I don't drink, so it's yeah, fine. you can though. Okay. I don't. You can. No, you I don't. can, but I don't. 
Hold on, do I we, get a thing yeah, I can do? Yeah, we but we won't. Right. Um, I, okay, I forgot, I forgot out of all the people in the party, okay. he's the first Hold one. On. Oh, okay. well oh. done, lovely. Uh, everyone within 10 foot of me gets a plus 3 to their saving throws. Still an Addy one. Oh, I didn't oh. See that. oh, no! <laughs> me and Lovey are like double entwined again. Wow, everyone. Oh, come on, Lil! Come on, Flynn! Gabriel, join the anarchy that's about to create, be created. Uh, I no, no, no. About 12. no. Flynn's going to enjoy no, watching Rose, from the outside. Rose, yet again, me and like, Lovey and Gorgor have synced up. Yeah. <laughs> It's this is where Gorgor's going to be raving on a table with his cloak of billowing fashions and no shirt. Doing a, do a, a proper uh, white chicks moment. Oh yeah, like the uh, the guy, who, uh, what the character that Terry Crews plays is, you know, when he's um, high on his fucking tits, and he's got the yeah, and he's got the glow sticks and the whistle, and he's going fucking bananas. Yeah, with the whole. That's going to be Gorgor, yeah. Um, just as a quick thing. Uh, our paladins, what are your charismas? Uh, plus three. It's not going to be enough. No, uh, at least I've said if we even think everyone's got plus three to the yeah, saving what, throw. No, what I'm saying is, is... Ends a lad as well. Okay, they're both the same. If that was the case, because it was... <laughs> I, I, I don't believe the aura... I don't believe the aura is stack, so it's just... Whoever has the higher one uh, would be affecting you. Uh, I've got 18 to plus four. So yours is a plus four. Oh, so we get one more. <laughs> Which makes the highest roll on the table a 13. I'm assuming <gasps> this wine is a bit punchier than a 13. Wait, what it's called it time travel wine. Because it was yesterday and now it's tomorrow. Time liquor. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Instead of Time Wizard, just Time Licker. Honestly, that song's in my playlist for next campaign. I'm not yep. going to lie, I've got the Time Warp in there because I was like, it. Yep. Time Wizard. Yeah, no, nope. it's, it's going to be fun. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up what, like, I'm going to end up watching Rocky Horror after this, aren't I? <laughs> but, uh... oh, so. Ash, do you want to describe the train wreck that the party gets into while we're all off our tits? Gabriel, yeah. Flynn, do you do anything to corral them, or do you simply watch the world burn? I'm watching the world burn, because this is quite interesting. Oh yes, now this is going to be fun. Okay. And this is where, by morning, I'm going to be in the back of a prison cart by them fucking dipshits. <laughs> I will say at the very least, you're in a place that is experienced in dealing with people who are incredibly drunk. They have proficiency in handling alcoholics. <laughs> the tavern has proficiency in alcoholic handling. <laughs> so they know that is near the same. Is, say, is it proficiency or expertise? It's probably expertise. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. This is gonna go horribly right. Oh yes, it is. Yeah. So it starts off. Now, there's going to be a line where only Flynn and Gabriel remember. Where that line is, I'm not going to draw until I fade to black. Oh, shit. Um... <laughs> Starting simply, though, it starts off with you guys just feeling a bit buzzed, feeling a bit drunk, having a bit of fun. And it starts off like a fairly normal night of drinking. Except just every hour that passes, even without drinking more, you start to feel drunker as it was just so potent it is taking your body a minute to process it all. Uh-huh. Uh... You have almost this bite of dragon's fire in your mouth. Uh, it's not necessarily that you actually... It's just... When the dragon starts to rear up the fire before it actually breathes it out, and it has it just on the back of its throat tickling a little bit. You can very much feel that yourselves, where it's just that slight burning at the back of your throat. Just a little bit. 
Your head feels a little light. And you become a very impulsive and interactive entity. Um, Gorgor starts having his fun little dance party that is three genres away from what the music currently is playing is. <laughs> Oh, uh, and you know it's you know it's even worse. Mm -hmm. I can imagine at like three a.m., Gorgo's gonna go and fucking swear allegiance to the succubus at the cult place and fucking multi-class into warlock or some bullshit because he's too drunk to understand. Oh no. Um, at one point a heated argument does break out between Mr. Simpinton and. Lovey, just in regards to Glacia. What the actual meat of the argument is, is unintelligible at best, though at some point her name came up and the two have been fighting since. Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. Yeah. Nobody, including themselves, are even sure like what the actual argument is. Uh, it's hard to pin down the specifics. It was just one of those, like, someone said something, and it's been, like, 20 minutes of them just disagreeing loudly at each other. Oh, okay. Um, it's not been too serious, it's just more... Yeah? Yeah. Uh, well, like, it could have been as innocent as... Sir Simpenton insisting that she would enjoy a home-cooked meal by him. It could have been something as outrageous as, you know, uh, beyond that. The actual context was lost in the drunken stupor. It was just a bit of a nonsensical back and forth, at which point Gorgor does remember, hey, he did like that idea of talking to those uh, nice succubi people again. E. Uh... Mm -hmm. If he makes it even a foot out the tavern, is entirely up to Flynnsire and Gabriel, of course, and along with how stubborn Gorgor might be about that topic. Extremely. He's going to be the answer to that. Are we stopping him or not? I'm quite content to let him go, because I'm interested where he's at. Right. Okay. Fluffy on the topic does insist that she tag along, at the very least, because she's the calm, level-headed one. <laughs> yeah. okay, so, now, so now I'm getting a bit concerned. Two of them's going. <laughs> I, I manage well. I, I, I imagine that I've managed to convince somebody in the party to give me a piggyback because we're pissed. And you know what it's like. I'm like, my feet are hurting. Right, we're going to go to the brothel. Let's go, lad. It's <laughs> just complete chaos. Feature. He's just, yeah, launched herself as somebody. Gone, Catch me! <laughs> You're so used to being the responsible one, even while she's drunk. She's like, no, no, I'm the responsible one. I should go, too. This is a good idea. So you jump on Gogo's back and yell to the brothel. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Nice. As you would. Yeah. I think that's cool. Uh, uh, are we bringing the rest of the party with us? I assume at this point yeah. that we're... Literally moving from the pub to the strip club at this point. Mm. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'd say, I do not. I'd say, I've heard what this is happening, but I have not heard what Pallad, what Pallad and Dave has been doing whilst drunk this entire time. Ah, <laughs> now you see, that is an enigma all to its own. Yes. But what is he doing though? He's been uh, he's been having some fun. Oh. Oh, oh no! Oh, he's the black. He oh, was it. God. Concern. Uh, Concern. At some point, <laughs> someone lost track of him. Nobody's certain whose job it was to keep track of him. It's what it was. It's the yokel Not farm. Me. It's the yokel farm girl that Simpinton pissed off. She's getting revenge. <laughs> and uh. for whatever reason, for whatever reason. Paladin Dave is being the sweetest, most polite and communicative he's ever been with her. Lies. <laughs> <laughs> no, to be fair, polite, I can, I he is being it. respectful, and she is simply enjoying his company while the rest of you wander off to the brothel. I could see it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is there Simmington coming along as well? I think I one like... day he would just sort of wonder where everyone's going and follow and if he's like pissed. 
to the brothel! Party does yeah. eventually make their way there. Sorry? The party does eventually make their way there. Uh, this one's at least. Yes. Uh, surprising amounts of lucidity for at the very least directions to the brothel. Uh, not sure if it's Lovey's stellar memory of the location or if your foot's just ar feet just already knowing the way or divine providence. But you guys find your way there pretty quickly. At least you think, though given the time of night is lost on you, it could have taken you two hours to get there and you were just having so much fun you forgot. You all do make your way there, those who tag along. And the following morning, you wake up in the guest rooms of the brothel. What? Clothing scattered about. Um, bodies scattered about. Oh, no. None. Oh, yeah. Not in the corpse capacity, just like Gorgor is okay. half asleep on top of a desk at one point. I assumed not in the corpse type. Simpinton has fallen asleep <laughs> cuddling a lamp. Just, it's it's been anarchy. I love lamp. Oh no. Oh, things strewn about in various degrees of disrobement. And that is where you are going to wake up with a new level in your system. So we end up getting fucking drunk. <laughs> That's how far we've traveled in time. We've leveled up. <laughs> wait, wait. Let's have a. Let's drink the second bottle. We'll level up again, right? Wait, have we actually leveled up? It sounded like a lot more happened than us just getting drunk, though. But <laughs> it's like, okay. Oh chill. shit! Oh no. <laughs> uh, manage levels. <laughs> okay, Liam. <laughs> Uh, I assume that both Gabriel and Flintsire aren't in the room currently. No. They no. Just us in the brothel. Like, he's you in the brothel. <laughs> yeah, from the sounds of it, it's, it's me, Lovey, Dave, and Simpinton, and probably a mix of. Oh, Dave's other... set up the tavern. Dave made yeah, new friends. Oh me. shit, oh shit, yeah, you're right, yeah, I you're right. New friends. Yeah, I forgot, sorry, my bad. So it's Simpinton, Lovey, and me, and with probably God knows how many other people. <laughs> no, the room is actually yours at the moment, though there's a lot more clothing than just the three of yours. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, you three are otherwise alone in the room at the moment, as the afternoon sun starts to bleed in through a half creaked, uh, half cracked open window. Oh. Do we get what here? you choose to do with that level up is yours and yours alone. Well, I'll have a chat with you after session yep. anyway about mine. More uh, what events yes. may have transpired in between, again? One of what? Open to interpretation. Oh, okay. Uh, when did we get here? Oh, fuck. Wow. Noises. <laughs> Or is this loud? Oh. Where, where, where are we? Uh. I think we're at the cult. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Out, out, light, light, hurt. Fuck. Yep, we're at the Can cult. Can you turn the off, please? It's too loud. Yeah, turn off the lamp would be a more appropriate for it. <laughs> He's currently clutching it. <laughs> I'd say, turn off the lamp, turn off the lamp, it's just the sun. <laughs> yeah, that's what the, that's what I was aiming for. Oh, fuck off, you big lamp! Why are you hugging a lamp? Uh, uh, I even thought it was my glaive, don't. Uh, <clears throat> What the fuck happened? Oh. Uh, we just say we never talk about it again and we move on. I'm okay with that. I mean, I don't remember. I don't remember at all. 
I, I, I believe that we'll probably, uh, probably find out once we leave these doors and we meet someone in from here. Yeah. Right. That wine is fucking brutal. When you said time travel wine, I thought you meant like time would pass like having nice conversation and eating cheese. Not getting oh. fucked up in a brothel orgy from the sounds of it. The time did go. Yeah. Chris Simpinton does notice that his vow of chastity is still in place. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> 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 arguably that's the funniest thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's quite sad as well. Oh, fucking hell. Even in that situation, he still couldn't. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a saying somewhere. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, buddy! I feel for you, mate. Seriously. Oh, wow. <laughs> Holy shit! That's 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 got to take skill. That has. That's got to take actual fucking skill. Holy it's just shit. like some kind of a spiritual V card. I don't like. <laughs> I have communed with the spirits, and they have said. You shall not Obsessed. make love. Yeah. <laughs> no, what it is, it's when, when the apocalypse happens and we have to throw that virgin in the volcano, the gods have decided <laughs> no, the, go the gods have decided that that, my boy, is you. Yeah. Game over. Sorry. Holy shit, that's funny as fuck. Like, I honestly, I think out of everything Ash spoke, like, every, every word Ash spoke for the last five minutes about all that, that's probably the single funniest thing. <laughs> I mean, it was all pretty, you know, brilliant. Oh, it was. I'm just saying that oh, yeah, that was yeah, like that yeah, was the cherry on top. <laughs> yeah, he he probably on. like he probably says, "Oh, hang on, I I need to check something." Then looks a bit sad after. Oh, like it's like, oh, okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so once we are dressed in our clothes again, I'm guessing we'll all head out. You know. Yeah, we're gonna have to sort through. Not mine. Not mine. That's Lovey's. Not mine. Not mine. That's really not mine. Uh, Simpinton, Simpinton, Lovies. <laughs> oh, Thank you. I don't know who this belongs to, but damn. Ah, mine. <laughs> this whole thing is incredibly embarrassing. I love like, how you, you seem to have gone through the entire... I like the idea that you went through the entire pile and then finally found your hat at the bottom and gone, oh yeah, that's mine. <laughs> Don't forget the hat, that's like the most important thing. You can leave your hair on. I was just about to fucking say, <laughs> haven't you heard about the song? You can you gotta leave it on. <laughs> like I said, you beat me to it, you fuck. <laughs> oh shit. Well given that, that that's happened and Ash um obviously with the time and stuff. We yeah, I think that is exactly where we leave it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, you guys shit. brave the world in the morning. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. This episode's been very interesting, start to finish, I must say. Weird. The way I'd say you, the way you started that, then Danny was this. You know, this session has been, and it was almost like what sponsored by. You had that tone of this session has been sponsored by. <laughs> Well, well, well this episode is sponsored by no one yet. <laughs> <laughs> if someone wants to sponsor this hot mess of an episode, please do, because no one else will. <laughs> it's it's sponsored by Sir Simpinton's V card. There let's be go. honest. Yeah. The credit card of the future. <laughs> or the med medieval version of the game or whatever. Like pick up our history of kind of Actually, no, that's exactly what I'm going to name it. I'm going to name it that fucking book title that you writ, like, earlier. <laughs> Where was it? Where was it? The Female Persuasion and How to Woo Them by Andrew Tatham. D&D &D episode. <laughs> that's exactly what I'm going to fucking name it, actually. I do genuinely feel a bit for Sir Simpington, because not only has he had... His entire worldview shaken today. He's been told his pickup techniques are terrible. He got insulted by a um, young, buxom 
uh, farm lady. That then went and... off with Dave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then, oh, that was it. You know, the whole, oh, I thought I was righteous and everything. Then, got very, very drunk in a brothel. He can't remember the night he had, but he's pretty certain nothing happened for him. That's a, that's a, that's a bad day. That's a bad, bad day. That is a real bad day. I mean, in fairness, I'm not saying any of you had any sort of uh, sexual encounters, unless you yourself are saying otherwise. Uh... You're just guaranteeing that he, in fact, did not. No. That is the point. Uh, no. I was going to say, that that is the point we're going to focus on right now. Like, like I say, we can just move on, pretend if anything happened, it happened. If it didn't, it didn't. We just move on and we never talk about it. Sound? Cool. <laughs> yeah. well, we don't know what's going to happen next session when we bump into all the, like, the sucky by that are like, making breakfast downstairs. Like, mm -hmm. Yep, that's the thing. We haven't left the room yet, Rose. No, I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Why do I now get the impression that Lobby likes bad boys and girls? You do you know what I mean? Like, she'll go after the villain of the story, or Glassy, who's an arch devil and is just complete. You mean you, I'd say you weren't before. I mean, you've been chasing after Glassy the entire time. But yeah, you know what I mean? We're going to continue. I mean, if I met her, that's Modius, and Lovey was into him, I'd probably pursue him as well, so I wouldn't hold it against me, but I would talk to but him. Yeah. We'll continue talking about this like um, yeah. in a moment. I'm going to raid out to Athusa and give him some love, but no, this episode has been interesting and fun. Manic. Yeah, I've enjoyed myself. I hope everyone else has, and Ash, thank you again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh God, that was a very ASMR. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but no, um, Athus is playing some DVD, so let's go and give him some love because we all love DVD. And yeah, I will see you guys Saturday for the Dragon Stew one shot with the Trial of the Bookworm, as it's aptly called. See you later, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.